welcome into another episode of That's Fucked Up. Yes! The Halloween special. It is Halloween today. I don't know when y'all are going to get this episode, <laughs> wait, wait. but <laughs> today is Halloween. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody got to declare, filming. who are they? <laughs> okay. Who yeah. are you? No, go ahead. <laughs> I'm Rick James, bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'm Rick James. And who are you? Yo soy Padre Antonio Felipe Gutierrez Sanchez. Mm. I'm that fat guy from D12. <laughs> <laughs> B-Saw. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> uh, but. God, man, having a lot of hair is fucked up, man. This, I don't know how people deal with this shit. This shit is itchy. Well, it comes in for. Like, it doesn't all come in at once like but that. But it, like, so, it, it, like, it's just your face. They get shit. used to it as, a, as it comes. How was Rick James surviving? Like, and your head is fucking hot. I'm about to die. Cocaine. Cocaine? Oh, yeah. Cocaine. There you go. Yeah. Before we get into anything, though, since it is Halloween, since we are doing this dress-up thing anyways, we might as well go over a few things. Like, for one, who's the best killer of any of the Halloween shows? Jason. You think Jason's the best Jason killer? is by far the best murderer. He's psycho. <laughs> Jason? Jason? Jason is the fucking killer. No. Jason is like the Fast and the Furious of killers. There's like 47 of them you've never even seen. Jason went to space. Jason went to New York City. That's what I'm talking about. Jason, <laughs> Jason so is fucking places. relentless. <laughs> Jason is fucking relentless. He didn't care where you were. I'd be on the fucking space shuttle. I'm coming. You don't like Mike Freddy Myers? Freddy Krueger. You Freddy cannot Krueger. sleep on the motherfucker. Yeah, but you just have to show him his reflection. If you carry a mirror with you, you'll be fine. Wait. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's how you kill Freddy. You show him his reflection. He can't look at himself in a mirror. I never remember uh, seeing that in none of the I movies. I don't know about that one. Oh, I don't know. You guys never believe any fucking thing. that. Look that's it up. That's the best part about us. Look we don't believe you at all. Here's the real question, though. Jason... Anybody with any type of athletic ability will never be caught by Jason. <laughs> he wasn't the fastest. He just walks you down. He's never ran a day but in his life. He's relentless. <laughs> no. He's relentless. If you don't Eli. trip or get lost or like stuck in some weird house, like how can he even get you? What about Freddy versus Jason? Who won that? I don't know who won that Let's war. Jason? That Most likely it was Jason. This hair. Rick James. How did Rick James survive? <laughs> All this shit. Okay, so in the movie, they did some bullshit that Jason the- ultimately defeats Freddy despite appearing to See? die in the Jason. process. Because so Freddy can't beat Jason. They but had help though. Jason says they had it, help. It appears the- Jason died in the process, but Jason dies in every movie and comes back. He's like he's relentless. <laughs> what about Is he Michael more relentless Myers? than Mike Myers? He only cares about one bitch. He's just killing other people <laughs> in the way. <laughs> He's killing other people in the way. He's focused. Oh, get into this bitch. He he's only focused. He's fucking, he, he's fucking yeah, focused. He has he never ultra kills focused. a bitch, so. Yeah, he's focused. He's trying to kill. Jamie Lee, Jamie Lee Curtis got to be the strongest bitch in movie history. <laughs> she beat that motherfucker every time, and they never changed her character. That's what I appreciate about Halloween the most. It's always Jamie Lee Curtis. So it doesn't matter how old she gets. Fuck nope. It. Nope. 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 Mike Myers is just like, I still am going to kill you, bitch. You're 67. I'm not letting you go. Does anybody know the history behind that? Like, why is Mike Myers chasing her? They're not siblings? I thought that was her sister. Brother and sister. Well, who wants to kill their sister? He does. Maybe she touched him. I don't know. They didn't. They didn't give us that background. Damn. Or actually, maybe they no, didn't. He, maybe the, the people can tell us why. I don't the know. The Pope touched her. But what about? I only touch children. <laughs> no oh, shit. What about? Uh, what about little fucking <laughs> Chucky? Nobody's scared of Chucky. Fuck no. Kick <laughs> Chucky in the face. Chucky slice. I beat the shit out of Chucky. Bro, Him and gonna, Bruce Lee. You're gonna wake up. Chucky's gonna slice your Achilles from under the bed. You're gonna fall over. <laughs> Dragging down the fucking hallway, stabs I'm you. I'm sorry. If, if Chucky kills me, don't even hold the funeral. Don't mourn me because that's some bullshit. Yeah, it's a I fucking kick Chucky doll. in the face. Wow, it's a possessed doll. Still a doll. It's a possessed doll. It is possessed. Still, like fucking plastic. What about if you woke up and you were in that saw shit? You were like, uh, he, was like, he was like, he was like, that's all shit is fucked up. 
<laughs> you have three options. <laughs> the sauce shit was fucked up. That shit was fucked up. What would you do? Are you chopping off your foot? He had to saw his foot off. That's so terrible. I'm not chopping my... I'm just going to die right I'd there. I'd pass out. <laughs> How you chop your own foot off? How? I ain't making it through that. I'm not. Oh, he it did. would have to be a swipe. It would have to be like a... One like chop your off. Your foot? Yeah, you, I wouldn't be able to saw it. No way. Oh, God. Imagine if it what, you didn't get all the way through <laughs> and you needed a second or third chop. <laughs> <laughs> to get in there, you'd be like, oh, nah, I have to get this no, little bit. But that's way better, though, than like, oh. you know what I mean? No just, one can no just, one can do that to themselves. Uh, they would just halfway die. through, you to pass out. I don't, I don't mean to get off topic real quick. What? Then but don't. Have you seen Aaron <laughs> Rodgers' recovery? That motherfucker is walking on the field, throwing balls. I think, I don't know. He says he's gonna be back by January. Maybe it was all fake. He did an experimental surgery, too. Maybe it's oh, all fake. He's injured again, for sure. Hey, we ain't done talking about this list. <laughs> what list? The top five killers. Okay, well, okay. Let's cut, the, let's cut it short. Who's your top five? Top five killers. Top five killers. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, five. Jesus. The worst killer? Oh, God, I don't even think we went over them all. What about that bitch from... Uh, Science. She just comes out of the TV. It's all crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? She fucking. She don't have enough blood on gonna, her hands. You gonna punch that no, bitch? She don't have enough blood on her hands. Look, no. top five killers. Jason. Just say top three. Top three. Jason, Jason Freddy, Freddy Krueger, Mike Myers. Mike Myers. Definitely, those are the top. That's three. the top three. Definitely. That's the top three. You know, you got Chucky coming in there like around Chucky's, the fifth or sixth. You think Chucky's top five? Nah, he's not going to make top five. What about he Leatherface him? from Texas Chainsaw Ooh, Massacre? Ooh, he got a lot of blood on him. Because the thing about Freddy is, like, come on, like, impossible. Jason, Mike Myers. You think Freddy, Ch- Freddy's impossible, so you don't believe in the other realms? I don't. If you die in your <laughs> dreams, if you die in your dreams, you don't die in real life? I don't believe in that shit. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I only really believe in Jesus. Okay, listen, I named my top three. What's you guys' top three? I mean, those are the top three killers. The other two. But what's your order? Order? Mike Myers, number one. Wow. He killed one person and he hasn't succeeded. He killed so many people trying to kill that bitch. There's a lot of people he killed. There's no intention there. Fuck yes, Mike there Myers. Mike Freddy Krueger. Okay. Um, Jason. And okay. Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But how can you name Freddy Krueger when we've already talked about that Jason versus Freddy Krueger, Jason won? He has the coolest signature, oh, you know? Okay. Oh, and also... Nah, Jason's mask is cooler than any yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. Listen, that's, that's, somebody show up with the mask in the elevator, I'm off the elevator. I'm, I don't want <laughs> these problems. <laughs> you see the guy that rolls around in the Mike Myers mask and he's like, just like looking at people. And people oh, yeah. like, no, no, no. The funniest thing I've ever seen, and you guys probably seen it too, when the peop- the dude who's in the hotel room at the far end of the hotel, he like looks at people when they come out, <laughs> and then he starts sprinting <laughs> towards something. He's that gonna, shit is fucking hilarious. He's what about get shot one day? No, that's true. What about <laughs> Hellraiser? I'll be honest uh, why I lean towards Freddy Krueger. You all know I love a nice sweater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a sweater guy. <laughs> I'm a sweater guy. <laughs> But definitely, I think in order, Mike Myers, Jason, Freddy. I'm sorry. Mike Myers cannot kill the person he yeah. wants to kill. Mike Myers would snap the fucking neck off of the Chainsaw Massacre, dude. Mike Myers would rip that dude's body and have Mike Myers is the strongest. You know what I like about the, the Texture Chainsaw Massacre? He has a family that also helps him. <laughs> yeah, real great. You know, a nice family that helps with the... Mike Myers doesn't need a family. In fact, he's trying to kill his. And is unsuccessful. Doesn't matter. Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy dies too. (laughs) Mike might be a loser. Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy dies too. I just want everyone to know that my hair is in my eyes. He wears a human face. You know what I mean? He's like a sicko more than anything. The other guys just really like to kill. This oh, guy yeah, wears, yeah. like, human faces, yeah. you know, shit like that. Okay, like you said, the scariest 
insignia or whatever. The mask is by far Mike Myers? the most frightening thing on the planet. The Mike Myers mask? That. Do you know what the Mike Myers mask is? No. Is it hockey? No, it's um, the guy from Star Trek. Eh. It's like a whited out face of, uh, what the fuck is his name? The guy who's done all those goddamn Wait a minute, Jason insurance has the hockey commercials mask, right? and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that Jason's Jason's, Jason's is, is worse. Jason's is worse. Jason's worse than Mike shit Myers. Is, I thought Mike Myers shit was clearish. White. Lots of blood. William Shatner. Well, yeah, William Shatner's face like whited out. That's Mike Myers. Oh wow, I never <laughs> knew that. <laughs> That's crazy, no? I never knew that. That's crazy. Have you seen the videos of like yeah, like I seen a lot of videos of people who just wearing Mike Myers mask and scaring the shit out of people. Like yeah. just like driving around, and just showing up with the mask. Yeah, I don't know that hockey face, that hockey mask outside of hockey is frightening. Okay, now besides the killers, though, let me ask you another question. Since we are going, it is getting heavy holiday season over here in America. Top five holidays. What's your favorite holiday? Ramadan. <laughs> <laughs> Explain Ramadan to me, please. Please let the people know <laughs> what you do for Ramadan. Then I, I like I can't eat for a week or some shit, right? How the fuck do yeah, I? Know? I don't know. Who oh, know? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think me, I can eat. I think I, I, I think I gotta like starve myself for a couple neither days. Neither me nor Alejandro. I don't think have oh, ever God, celebrated. I was really leaning on you guys for the answer. <laughs> Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa, ooh, that's a big, that's a big holiday. <laughs> my we top, just got that like two years ago. <laughs> Kwanzaa, <laughs> what's, Black History Month. What's Kwanzaa? Ramadan. What's Kwanzaa? <laughs> it's Black Christmas. Do you celebrate Rick Kwanzaa? James would be Kwanzaa. proud of that. <laughs> it's Black Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Black Christmas. It's Black Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's the official. <laughs> You know what's crazy? Happy Look, Black Christmas, yo. I grew up as a Muslim, so I literally, I don't know any holidays. We can tell how devoted yeah, you are. Yeah, I just, I don't know any holiday. <laughs> Wait, I knew nothing. You grew up as a Muslim. And I, when I was a kid, until I was about like four, four or five years old, my parents were uh, part of like the Nation of Islam. And what happened? And that's, huh? They just stopped? Yeah, one day I just came hey, home and they like, like, yeah, we're over it. <laughs> we love Jesus now. But which, is, which, is, which is messed up, man. Because now I didn't have nothing after that. Yep. But then my grandmother started dragging me to, well, yeah, you know, not really <laughs> dragging me. She would start taking me to church, like Christian churches. And I would go because afterwards we would go eat. So I was, I was like, oh, where are we going today? Ah. And my grandmother on some real shit, my grandmother was in search of the best religion. Like she was constantly going to What'd different churches. What'd she say churches. it was? What'd uh, she end up as? You know, I'm really, I think What'd she... What'd she settle at? You know, I think she was, I think... Her battle was either Judaism and uh, Christianity. I think that's where I, I can't say which one she was leaning towards the most, but she was literally attending both kinds of churches. Well, she wasn't a good decision. And let me tell yeah. you, Judea. white church wasn't that great. Didn't really enjoy white church. It's fucking hot in the white churches. But you know what? It was concise, which I did like that. <clears throat> it was short. Black church go on forever. Wait, so you did go to some Judaism churches? Yeah, with my grandmother. Stop I don't know. I think maybe, maybe one or <laughs> They're not churches. Maybe, maybe one or two. Temples, right? Temples. Yeah. yeah, maybe one or two. You know, when I was a kid. You know what's a mis you know what's a misnomer? Okay, let's hear this. Women don't go to temple. Why women? Women can't go to temple? It's not that they can't. Well, actually, I don't even think, I don't know if they can. That's why whenever you see, like, the dudes walking on Saturdays, you don't see their wives with them, usually. But isn't, those are Orthodox Jews, right. right? And they're walking because on certain times, they can't use any electricity, any motor vehicles, or anything like that, right? Is that true? Yeah, you have to rest for, on the Sabbath, you know? But they're walking. They're not fucking resting. They're walking to the fucking temple. Oh, is that what they're doing? Oh. Yeah. Oh, they're walking that. to and from temple. I they're not they just, just walking. walking. I thought no. they just they couldn't do they're just stuff. Just walking outside for yeah, a fucking. Yeah, take like, the dog <laughs> out. No, 
I didn't I, walk I, in a temple. I heard that in the Sabbath, they you cannot do nothing, no type of work. Like, can you open up a door? Mm, you're not. I don't know. It's, it's certain. Does your wife I don't practice know all the, the specific rules? Nah, I just don't work on Friday night or Saturday. Let some sub. Oh, you do that for her? Yeah, you know, dope. it's nice for my, you know, for the family. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> the point is. I'm not. I think they can go or whatever on like special things, but but it's not like a a normal thing. It's like the guys go pray and shit. So it's, women don't. The what women are what hold women doing? down the household. They just stay Usually at home. Usually, Orthodox families have about 13, 14 kids at home. Are yeah. women equal to men in Judaism? I don't know. Good question. Are you equal? Oh, I'm above everyone. <laughs> I'm above it all, my but friend. Shoot. Let's get into what's going on this week. This week, to be honest, was fucking crazy. Now, I guess what's been going around is that there's a first date list, and it's been inspired by a young lady who was on a date, and the other uh, guy she was with took her to a Cheesecake Factory, and she refused to continue the date, get out the car, and she just said, I'm not going. I don't go to chain restaurants. And I was like, and you know, this is the part that was even scarier for me. Everyone really attacked her because she wasn't attractive. And, and they all went after her because of that. But to be honest, even if the girl was good looking and very pretty, which this particular woman wasn't, she wasn't <sighs> any of that. No, she, was, she, just, she just wasn't. And plus, you could just tell her energy period was real stank but it was just crazy goddamn how, lizzo yeah it was yeah anyways she, she, she was a little big and you and that's why i was really confused because it was cheesecake factory i was just like there's there's some real full plates there she could have got her eat on for sure but with, for whatever reason she did not get out the car and everyone has been thrashing her ever since and i would say this i enjoy cheesecake factory i'm really don't have a problem with it who doesn't? I think it's a solid place. Can you name the list, Josh, of the places we cannot go? There's hey. 28 of them. They get pretty ridiculous down this list. One, Cheesecake Factory. Clearly, just because of the video, Cheesecake Factory made number one. <laughs> There's a lot worse things on here than Cheesecake Factory. Two, Applebee's. Way worse than Cheesecake Factory. Way worse. Applebee's is pretty bad for a first date I, if you live in a small town. Applebee's no, was... If, no, no, no. If, if, you, no, live in if you live in a small town... It's a great day. If you live in a big city, it's if a you live in a small a town, that's your biggest restaurant. In no, Nebraska, sure. Applebee's the shit. Let me tell you something, because you know I've been in Macon, Georgia, yeah. because of our apartments. Applebee's, Applebee's is out yeah. of control. See, that's where people go. Apple, listen, Applebee's, uh, uh, <laughs> it's a Chili's, yep, Columbus, uh, same shit. They all these are these are the restaurants. Those are the highlights. There are no real big restaurants in these. These uh, uh, smaller places, but go on. Where are these bitches supposed to go? Yeah, where small are you to town take girls. Them? Where are you supposed to take them? I don't eat a chain restaurant. Three, Chili's, as you mentioned. I love Chili's. Baby back ribs, I, or I, I never ate a Chili's. I don't know. I just like the options, but I like the pasta there. Pasta. Okay. That's okay. Uh, Chipotle. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Listen, I would say if you're on a date. Fast food is tough. I, I think Chili's crosses the line of fast food. It's not really fast food. Yeah. But Chipotle, that's fucked up. I don't think that's a good one. How about you? Look, the whole list doesn't <laughs> the whole list doesn't even make sense. You don't even take into consideration anything or like well, there's like, context. It might be nice. Can, it huh? might be nice there's for some context. people. Yeah, because, you know what I mean? Like, because it says movie theaters and Buffalo Wild Wings. Now, one time, movie theaters is fine for me. I if, understand though. If you're if meeting movie, the person for the first time, you don't get to talk to them. They're sitting side by side. To do a you strip. know how much a goddamn movie costs to go? I went. To, I was going to go see fucking Paw Patrol with my daughters. Uh -huh. I went to the thing and put in four tickets. It was like seventy eight dollars. That's crazy. I was like. We got Paw Patrol at home. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nah, we got fucking Paw Patrol. I take at it y'all didn't go to the movies that day. Nah, nah, nah. 
<laughs> you told your kids, ah, oh, it's sold out. I'm sorry. <laughs> we could uh, we could get in today. Sorry, <laughs> it'll be a lot better on another day when I get them Costco AMC tickets. <laughs> Oh, but all with the list. On where we go, Olive Garden. I think that's a fair. That's, Olive, Garden Olive Garden is, is ten cool. times better than and Applebee's Chili. and definitely, Chili's. Definitely, ten times better. Unlimited definitely. breadsticks. Their chicken, Talk that shit. their chicken Alfredo is good. No, listen, Olive Garden is solid. It should me to me the best one on the list so far has been a Cheesecake Factory, <laughs> and then after that, Olive Olive Garden. But go on. Yeah, uh, let me just whip it all down real quick before we get into it. The movies made the top five. That's ridiculous. It's literally like the, one of the most number one date spots, but we'll go back over that. Your house. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get straight to it. <laughs> Any fast food chain, acceptable. Buffalo Wild Wings, fast food chain. You could just lump that in. So the list... When it says any fast food chain, most of these, fu- it could be like a list of seven. Because the rest are Buffalo like. Buffalo Wild Wings Buffalo is not Wild fast food. Wings. It is. It's not. Yeah, it's not. Because it's not fast. fast. You it's only not go- fast. You're right. You don't get it fast. You, no, only go there. fast. you only go there to watch the game. You go there maybe. to watch a game. Maybe have a drink and you watch okay, the game. Okay, so Wingstop, same place, different name. Wingstop might be fucked. Red Lobster. <laughs> not the same thing. <laughs> Buffalo and Wingstop is not the same. Same, that might be fucked same place. <laughs> Red Lobster. <laughs> Red, lobster. Were, not, red buf- lobster is solid. A buffet. Bitch, you can get lobster. It's a not, buffet. It's the red lobster is not a no, buffet. No, the next on the list is a buffet. Yeah, but red lobster, you can get red okay, lobster. Okay, let me whip you down, down the list. <laughs> let me lift down the wrist, okay? I'm just going to go straight down. I'm going to start All right, back. go, go. Cheesecake go. Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, The Movies, Your House, Any Fast Food Chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, A Buffet, IHOP, Denny's, The Gym, Church, Jesus, Starbucks, <laughs> Coffee Dates, Ice Cream Dates, Family Functions, Movie Night. First of all, you bring anybody to a family function, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere that requires a long drive. <laughs> Bowling, nightclubs, hookah bar, a bar for just drinks, Waffle House, sports events. Where the nah. fuck do you want to go? <laughs> you already have a problem choosing. That's true. I ask you where you want to go. You can't name another place besides that list. What are you going to name? Unless right. you're in LA. some good places on that list, though. Bowling unless, is weird, though. Unless you're bowling. in a... Bowling oh, is a nice day, no? Maybe, yeah, bowling is cool. Yeah. Bowling exactly. is cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, bowling Listen, shouldn't... Like, I hop, that's fucked up. <laughs> I hop is fucked up. Denny's is fucked up. The what gym, it, that's really not a what date. What if it's that's after the up. club y'all met at and he drunk? Oh, and it's talking not- about the gym. Like there was this girl I was talking to that she was telling me like a, a guy took her to the gym and tried to fuck her in the gym. <laughs> what the fuck? He, what kind of gym is this? What's going on? No, she said she said no, but here's my other question: <laughs> Why would you even show up to that? Yeah, the Meet gym. Me at the gym? Me for what? I don't. I have no idea. Maybe it wasn't. It wasn't a. Hey, hey let's go work out together. And then it's like, oh man, Listen, let's, let's they got pop. some other weird ones out here. Church, that's super weird. Starbucks. If you're going to have coffee and sit down and talk, I don't see that being that. Bad. But it cannot be but, Starbucks. It has to be like a like a like a you know a local place. No, it says no. It says no, Starbucks. No to drinks. me, you can sit down and get to know somebody. Yo, but I not think in Starbucks. It's a wheat date, but I'm not I'm not totally tripping on that. And then it says uh, oh coffee dates. They have Starbucks is on but the listen, ocean. View. Ice cream date. I think that's pretty cool. That's crazy. <laughs> no, you go grab somebody, yeah. it's late at night. No, be like Ice it, Cream Date be- is definitely acceptable <laughs> for a acceptable. first. Are you fucking kidding me? That should definitely fucking be acceptable. It's not like that's the only thing you're gonna do. But we get ice cream, you walk through the park yeah, or walk, some shit, you, you talk, yeah, you have a you conversation. Talk, you kind of get to know the person. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's, to me, that's fair. Then that's after crazy. That, family function, super weird first date. <laughs> I don't understand no. it. And that I should know be, look, this that, is what. That should be number one. No. Number one should be yeah, a family function. Because who true. the fuck? And Rick James would not approve. <laughs> Rick James does not approve of taking someone Fuck to a family no. function. That's crazy. Okay, movie night, Netflix. It's a bit. That's a little strong for a first date. 
<laughs> it's a little strong for today. The, but hold on, here's okay, my thing go. with that one. And there's another one on there, I think, that was oh your house and that type of shit, right? Like, if you show up to that, yeah, female, yeah, talk. That's not a date. That's not. That's not a date. You came to fuck, and yeah. I invited you here to fuck. That's true. Like I didn't intend for this to be a date, oh, nor did I want to this for you question. to think it was. Let's say they accept the invitation to go to your house, and you end up fucking. And then three days <laughs> afterwards, you take them to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Is that the first date or the second date? That's definitely that's the, the second. first date. Exactly, that's the second. Date. First date. <laughs> that's the first date. Yeah. No, the house. No. The house I just the told you date. if you invite if I invited you to the house, it wasn't a date. <laughs> That's a date. That's a date. How? Because you're meeting a person and getting to know each other. Well, you got no. to know all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you come to the house, you're telling us it's on. Like, don't play. That's still a date, though. You're not going to come to the house and be like... Okay, but if she comes to the house, are you immediately whipping your dick out? No, you're, you know, you're going to massage your way into it. Hey, you know it. what's so funny? Have Some people just whip their dick out. <laughs> now, listen, and it's so funny. Seinfeld, there's an episode in Seinfeld where she was just like, he pulled it out. Yeah. yeah. And, and she's like, what are you talking about? No, he pulled it out. What do you mean? A guy, I guess they were on yeah. a date. They were talking inside the car, and he just pulls out his dick. And I'm just like, where does this happen at? Like, who does that? Teenage boys do that. People do. These are grown people. But here's the thing. AD, With, sometimes you need to give it some air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just give it a taste. Taste, so taste hey, what flight. If, wait, what are my friends? Like, he said, he said he would do this every single time. If he was, like, chilling with a girl and uh, <laughs> he was chilling with a girl and she wouldn't give him any, right? And so he was saying he would just jack off on her back. Damn. Just boom. Like, they're sleeping together, but they're not having sex for that night, whatever's going on. And he just plow. Take that. I was, that's like, wild. I was like, that's a bit aggressive. He's so, <laughs> yeah. He's, you know, don't, it don't might, your friend because that's sexual yeah, assault. That is, yeah, that's honestly, that's it might assault. be assault. <laughs> he's like, he's like uh, I was like, that's a bit aggressive for me. It's my signature. But listen, bitch. Now, this is the that, one that doesn't. Bowling, that's, that's a, a date. cool date. That's a date. That's a cool date. That's you have date. fun. You throw the ball down the lane. <laughs> you order a few drinks and some food. That is cool. Now, the nightclub. I get that it is hard to know a person in a nightclub. It's hard, but it's shaky. I don't know. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. But, but the, if I you like, like, let's say you go to dinner first, then take her to the nightclub, then it's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, that's 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 because definitely I, I, I've done acceptable. That. I, I, I've like you know on the first date gone for drinks and well, then tripping. she wanted Y'all to seen dance. Scarface straight to the club, bitch. Give me my table. Oh, so you just gonna floss on me? <laughs> 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 Bitch, I run this shit. <laughs> now the hookah bar, I thought hookah was fine. The thing you is can sit around, talk. You never know but if she's like, a smoker. Exactly. Though, you know you don't like, know if she's a smoker. <laughs> well, obviously he's a smoker because he took her to a hookah bar. Like I would hookah would never be on my list because I don't want no part of it. Okay, and then it says just a bar. I think going to a bar for drinks I think with a, a young lady is fine for a first date. Yeah, before we uh, go on, I think the hookah bar is for Middle Eastern people. That was a check for them. They're like, Middle Eastern dude, stop taking me to a <laughs> hookah bar. How, how about a bar in Chickscape? Cheesecake Factory has a bar, no? Absolutely. Wow. You, How about a, the it, bar? The double, the double lister? <laughs> I take you to only the bar at Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> hey, look. Now they got another one. Now, <laughs> You'll get food, This bitch. one should definitely... Waffle House. First of all, that food is fucking miserable. Nobody should ever go. It's just the, awful. The funny thing, though, because, you know, this list went viral... Russell Wilson rented out a whole Waffle House for Sierra for her birthday. And Shad Johnson was like, see, bitches, I told you. If it's good for Sierra, it's good for you. Uh, <laughs> Waffle House is terrible. That's a terrible first date. But this last, one is, this last one is a legitimate date, a sporting event. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, that's perfectly fine. You take her to the Clipper game, take her to the Rams game, and you kind of... You, Drive that might together, take you to the park. nosebleeds, bitch, and we don't get no snacks or nothing. <laughs> it's oh, like that a, might be a little you fucked know what up. Mean? Like, it, it depends no, on how close you are made to the that. List, no, 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 whoever no. made the list wasn't very close to the Even game. Even with the nosebleeds, you're spending hundreds of dollars in this fucking date. Uh, no, that's true. 
But it's. I don't it, think it's off. I don't think the event thing is awful. But you know I, what I think? Yeah. This should be the first state list. This should be exactly the fucking places you go. Your house should be the first state <laughs> list. Yeah. Nah, you can't. Do Maybe not all like those, that. but the point is, is that I'm not taking you to the greatest restaurant on earth on our first date. I don't even know who you are, bitch. You could be a murderer, some weirdo. That's fair. Let's take it slow. I think, guys, we should make this the list, fellas. This is the new list. This is where we take these bitches first date every fucking time. Now that would be cool if all men got in got in line <laughs> with each other and was like, "Fuck it, we only going to those places That's on the it. first date." First date, that would cheesecake be dope. factory, let's every man up. fucking Listen, time. Let's man up and make that the first date list. Because she says no chain restaurants, but I take that bitch to Mastros, which is a fucking which chain. Which is a chain. She which ain't gonna say shit. Yeah, that's true. There's so, big ass chains that are expensive as a yeah. motherfucker. So when so, you say chain restaurant, so question. <laughs> If a girl, you take her on a first date, right. and then she sleeps with you on the first date, right? is that a positive, a negative? She's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> and, and guess what? When girls do that, this is their biggest mistake when they do that on the first date. Now he's not trying to spend a dime on you. He's not trying to take you where or do anything. He's just like, the nah, next come to the house. The next 28 dates are at your yeah, house. The next, <laughs> next 10 dates is like, come to the house. <laughs> yeah. It's not even come over. It's like, nah, I'll I see you at the house. Yeah. You know the routine. But seriously, like, come on with some of this shit. That's crazy. <laughs> no. who, who took... Who the fuck made this list? Who the fuck took that girl to church? For the first date. That was bad. That's crazy. Yeah, that's... To that's, church? That's too much. Did you even ask what denomination she was first? Did right. she just try to force... <laughs> you bring some, like, atheist in there? She starts burning. I am about to rock your world. Babe, you know you can't handle all of this without your sword. Lance a lot. He never has this problem. No, I am King Arthur. I was worthy of Excalibur, and I'm worthy of sword vitality. Now that is a sword fit for a king. But do you know how to use it? Become a better man with sword vitality. Now this is going to be a very Difficult topic. I hope you guys are all prepared. I hope it's racial. The Dwight Howard situation oh. needs to be fucking talked about. Yeah. I don't really know exactly what's going on, but I can tell you this. Cameron and Mace take on it had to be the funniest shit yeah. I've ever seen in my whole entire life. He's no longer on the top 75. No, it's I'm hard just, to keep up. fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm with you. Let's take him off the list. Kobe, call, <laughs> Kobe called him soft. Listen, Kobe it's knew. a reason why they called him soft. Did you ever see the video where he grabs the other guy's nuts? Yeah. When he's like sitting yeah. on the Like, I was like, Of course, a lot of videos on? came out now. Did you see all of his injuries? Oh, yeah. Uh, back spasms. <laughs> back, back, knees, yeah, yeah. back, knees, oh. uh, rectal pain or some oh, shit yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's tough, man. That's a big dude. That's a big... Uh, if I Dude. was any team, I'll sign him right away. Would you like being guarded by him? No. There you go. That's what the Lakers needed last season against Jokic. You know, grab him a little bit on the tushy and all that <laughs> shit. Make the players uncomfortable. This, hey, look. I yes. don't want him on my that's team. That's what Rodman used to do. Nah, nah. That's, that's too wild for me. Uh... There's, there's no there's no space for that in basketball. Let's, let's no. Nah. What? Butt sex? <laughs> huh? Grabbing nuts. <laughs> that's, that's just, that doesn't make any sense to me. You think but, he was just like hard dick in the locker room? And that's why Kobe was like, what's going on with you, bro? You got to get out of here. 
I don't even know what to say about that. I, I'm just going to refrain from that. I'm just going to, I'm going to skip over that one. I'm above that. I don't think you Do are. Do pro athletes take showers together? Is it all some, individual some lockers people do. in there? I never, listen, most athletes aren't taking a shower there. Now, in the NBA, they're probably taking a shower. Dwight there. Howard's taking a shower Because it's there. probably much. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight Howard's like, first to the showers. No. <laughs> no, this is the thing that's crazy. I guess first Dwight Howard denied the guy existed, didn't, <laughs> said he wasn't a real person. This never happened. This is all a big lie. And then later it comes out that he did know the guy. Yeah, well, officially court in court he documents. Did, he, did, he did know the guy. He did invite the guy over. <laughs> Now, this is the part that gets crazy. So he invites the guy over. Here, you want to take it from there? He says, if you want to know what he's doing in the bedroom, I you're no the clue. weirdo. I don't want to know. You're the weirdo. I don't want to know. Dwight, <laughs> no one wants to know. It just, it, it's. It's out it's there a now, topic. though. Yeah, it came across our table, so we got to discuss it. Yep. And I would say, it sounds like, you know, he should just be, I guess he's being who he really is. But you know what's even on the flip side of that? Doesn't he have like 10 kids? He's got a lot to cover. No, he has 10 kids. He has a lot to cover up. Oh. In his personal So life. you think, oh, okay. So he he was fighting to be on the other side, yeah, but like, his I natural have instinct these, was to be If I have all these kids, they'll never know. Oh, man. Maybe. I think, Maybe he just minute, does both. But you used to like Dwight Howard as a player. How do you feel about your hero now? I still like Dwight Howard as a player. As a human, he's, bad. he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Harper claims he was en route to Howard's home for a one-on-one -on -one hookup. One-on-one -on -one is funny. <laughs> when Howard takes <laughs> proposing a threesome, Harper says he declined. <laughs> In his response, Howard claims Harper had consented to the threesome in advance of arriving to Howard's home that evening. Screenshot of the messages provided to the advocate shows Howard and Harper discussing a possible three th threesome, but there is no screenshot provided showing Harper either consenting or refusing to provide consent to the proposed sex act. Oh, God, you want me to read the conversation? No, nah, listen, uh, but... but <laughs> So I guess also what happened with the part that I guess Josh just read, I, there's a guy named Kitty that like comes out to the comes out of the closet or walks into the room. Kitty Sankofa, who is <laughs> who is presenting as a woman, so apparently is transgender. Okay. <laughs> he says Howard said he and Kitty occasionally engage in threesomes, so he must have this bitch as like a pet. Oh. He again refused consent to it. Like I said, this is the thing about the suit that he, he felt, felt overpowered, overpowered and in fear of physical fucking, harm. If you're in a room with Dwight Howard and he wants to fuck you, I feel like he's gonna end up fucking you. Come he's on, he's a man. big that, that motherfucker. Is not <laughs> nah, see, this is <laughs> I'll just fight. I'll fight. <laughs> but nah, this I'm is not just that big, this is, bro. This, this is, is just that. like tearing another dude down. Whether it's gay, whether it's straight, whether whatever it is, like you're telling me that Dwight Howard. Has to hold somebody down against their will. Like if He's not I'm sure that. there's a plenty of people out there that'll okay, suck okay. Dwight I, Howard's dick off. I was wrong. I, it, it's the flip side. Yeah, Harper see, I told you. A Harper alleges that Howard grabbed his head and forced him to perform oral sex on him while Howard was anally penetrating Kitty. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? So he right. made you? Oh, he was fucking Kitty, and then he grabbed the guy. And it's like okay. No, hold on. Go back and say what it said. Harper also claims Howard. No. Well, Howard said you're gonna do whatever I say you're gonna do, and you're gonna like it. Apparently, that Howard grabbed his head and forced him to perform oh, oral sex on him while Howard was anally penetrating Kitty. So Ooh. he was getting his dick sucked while it was in an ass. No, he was fucking an ass and then grabbed the guy to give him some head. Oh, so he forced. He was still sucking the guy. No, no, he was. Howard was this fucking. Is, we got. What else do we have to talk about? Yeah, this is a tough <laughs> subject, right? I, 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 Jesus fucking Christ! I, I, 
Uh, I, I, in other news in the NBA, <laughs> James Harden <laughs> traded to the Clippers. Now let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> let's get off of this other <laughs> shit was getting too real. It was too much for me. Oh, so wait God. a minute. James Harden yeah, I'll got traded you. to the Clippers, so he forced the trade and made that shit happen. Speaking of forcing again. things. Huh? Again. <laughs> yeah, again. Listen, you know, they're going to do him like Allen Iverson. They're going to use him up, and right when he gets to a point where he can't really perform on a certain level anymore, they'll never give him another well, shot or a position in the NBA. He has one year left on his contract. So this is it. Then he's going to be a free agent. Acquire 76ers got Marcus Morris, Nicholas Batum, Robert Covington, KJ Martin, and multiple draft picks. Clippers got PJ Tucker, James Harden. I like the PJ Tucker. Yeah, Tucker. Tucker plays it's hard. Tough. He's almost 40, though. He plays hard. He plays hard. So His shoe collection is bananas, too. Yeah. That's that's one thing I, I can appreciate about So him. are the Clippers <coughs> no. favorites to win the championship now? Nope. With Harden? I don't know. Harden, I don't know if we consider Harden that kind of player. Harden and Westbrook together? They were together back in the day. Yeah. Well, twice. Yeah, and it didn't work out. Neither one of them worked out. Yeah, but they didn't have Paul George or Kawhi Leonard on their team. Who never play. So, this is the alleged starting lineup. Russell Westbrook, Harden, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and Subak. Seems pretty small. And then P.J. Tucker in the bench. Terrence Mann. I don't know who else they got. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't. They still got that big white boy. What the fuck is his name? Who? Subak. Oh, yeah. No, the other one. I don't know the other one. What other one? I think Zubak is the star. Nah, it's not Zubak, though. He starts, though. Yeah. Zubak starts. There's another one, though, that they have. Oh, when man. I was there, he, like, fucked up the game against Sacramento. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That was last year, though. I don't know if he's on it. Speaking of, what's up, man? Can I get some tickets? Tickets? Yeah, what's up? I'm sure. So I'm me... sure that happened at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can I get some? What's up? Yeah, I'm gonna give, I gave you some last time. I gave you some this time. Well, you know, I just want to throw it out there for all, you know, I got to see Absolutely. the rafters or something. <laughs> all right. I guess we just got difficult topics today because now we need to talk oh, about come on, what? Joe Smith. I guess he married. Is he married to her? It says wife in a few. So he married a porn star. Was she a porn star? She was yeah. a porn star before. She retired. She now, retired when she married him. Yes. And she's been, I don't know how long she's been retired, but I did a couple of research and her videos are old when she was younger. And now she's, you know. Is she, was she hot? She was all right, you know. She still sucked cock for a living. You know, so <laughs> you can never put that past them. But she was all right, you know. I'll give it to her. Back. Okay. And now... I guess they had some money problems, some issues. I don't know. She decided to create an OnlyFans behind his back. Damn. And he found out. He found out and she videotaped him ranting to her when he found out and posted it online. That's the worst. Was thing. that a ploy to bring popularity to your new possibly could have OnlyFans? Do you think he was in on it? I, I hope think so. I think he was probably in on it. I mean, that just seems really convenient for her. But why would she start filming her husband? It's like, bitch, what, why would he on? give a fuck? Huh? Why would he give a fuck? The bitch was a porn star. And she's not fucking other dudes in the OnlyFans. She's fucking herself. She's changed her ways. <laughs> she told she's, him in the video. She's, she's like, changed. you know who I was when you married Exactly. Me? And you guys know what the saying is. Once a whore, always a whore. You can't make a whole housewife. Thank you. You don't know the saying. <laughs> yeah, you can't make a whole housewife. Listen, and there's some definite truth to that. So she just went back to her roots. Yeah, but she did it for the family. <laughs> he wasn't bringing the dough in. She said in the video, I've been asking you for solutions and you ain't been giving me none. So either she ain't getting no dick or she ain't getting no money. So what, you know? If she did it for the family, she's not bringing up. Then she's just banging it out online for some dough. So this, oh, is, okay, this is when the conversation gets hard. Ha, put a ting. Nice one. Okay. <laughs> you find out, you come across something that's only fans. <clears throat> you see your wife there. She says, That's I needed tough. more income. 
And that's why, but I didn't tell you because I know you wouldn't approve. How would you handle that? Well, first of all, I want to see the income. And secondly, are you sh- hiding the income? Like, where's the income? Because if this is just like your treasure trove of like you're just <laughs> hiding it and like buying Louis bags and shit and like I'm still having to pay all the bills, <laughs> now we got a fucking problem. You know what I mean? Now if you're saying you did it for the family and now you got this trove of money that's going to fucking stop our problems, then so would who knows? you? Okay, so would you? Okay, first of all, would you let your wife or your girlfriend have an OnlyFans? I've been trying to get Donna to do one with me <laughs> for years. <laughs> Wait, you will show your pecker on camera? Me? Yeah, yeah. Don't call it that though. That's weird. No, not pecker. Not a very masculine <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what mine is for sure. <laughs> your flute. Oh man, that's just so it funny, is, man. It works. Uh, Why wouldn't you? Camera adds 10 pounds, baby. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, um, you, you get you get paid a thousand dollars a video. Sweet. Would you be a porn star? I'll do four videos a day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do four videos a day. And you know how recover. I'm gonna do them? With the help of Sword Vitality. Sword Vitality. <laughs> That's the Everybody only listen. way. That's the only way. The only way you could do that That's much porn. That's the only way you could do four a day. Honestly, y- y'all should get a porn dude. Yeah, hey, Sword Vitality. Any porn dudes out there that really like, y'all got to take a break. You're trying to make more money. Y'all need to hit up Sword Vitality for real. For real. It would definitely keep you going. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got the blood of Ron Jeremy. Inside. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best yes. porn star to mention because he's yeah, in jail. For he rape. is in jail. He's in jail for rape? Yeah. yeah for he didn't do it. But he was still <laughs> strong in his videos. I, I have no idea if he did it or not. <laughs> don't text me. <laughs> hey, 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 don't Ron DM Jeremy. me. I have no clue. I know, no, no. Ron, Ron Jeremy's white, so you don't care. If he's black, then he's not guilty. Exactly. Oh, God. Uh, Jeremy's probably guilty Why because he's white. Why is blackness constantly be accosted? Why is my whiteness the, uh, being accosted on light? I well, to- people just don't like you. I, I'm telling you, man. They don't like your smile. They don't like your nose, your forehead, your ear. They just don't like They you. hate the fact that I just love to talk about racial issues with no problem. I'm telling you, man. Like, and I don't care. White people ha- are so oppressed nowadays, they cannot talk. Thank you, Ali Hydro. <laughs> Thank you, man. Finally. Y'all cannot have an opinion. This show's really fair. coming around to recognize its people. You know what I mean? We recognized your your creation of the whole entire world <laughs> on the last. Listen, I realm. told you. It's about now time. Now we're recognizing my oppression. Thank you. It's about God, time we'll black people out. get credit for building this planet. And any future <laughs> invention that gets created. We did it. <laughs> exactly. We did it. <laughs> exactly. You know how you always talk about, I was looking at a map of Pangea the other day, as, oh I, as I do. And that's when everything was connected, right? Yeah. yeah. So here's my question to you. When you think about evolution, do you think about the world that way, or do you think about it in the way it is today? Because I feel like most people think about it in the way it is today, but it's a lot easier to think about in the world of Pangea. You know what's crazy? During that time, let's just say when, you know, all these different parts, did it happen in one moment or did it gradually happen? What's the story behind that? Gradual cracks and separation. So, so, with if plate it's gra- so it was one point I was like, ah, there's Texas. And I just hop over there. It's called plate tectonics, man. No, I understand. When it was that. happening, there was no people. I don't think people could have survived like the separation of continents. Because it would have be like massive earthquakes and movements of like plate. Te- Never mind. I'm well, not gonna well, explain. Well, plate plate about so, Joe, so okay. So when did they we say we have about six or eight plates or some shit on no, the I Earth that slide? That. I understand okay, that. Okay, that's so. how earthquakes are formed. I get it. All right. I totally get that. But what I'm saying is okay. So you're saying that no one existed during that time period. So then, when did life actually happen? Good question. But where was everything when it when life happened? Good question. <laughs> But there was, like, animals, but there wasn't humans, you know what I mean, clearly. Do you guys believe in dinosaurs? <laughs> I mean, you almost have to, to be honest. 
If these bones that they're pulling out of these tar pits and these frozen situations in Antarctica and all this stuff, and they're pulling like a willy mammoth out of the ice, they, they were here, period. They're remaking the willy mammoth. They're bringing it back. So yeah. you believe in dinosaurs? Well, I don't think it's a belief system type of thing. It's like, like do you believe in tigers? I think they were definitely here. So T-Rex, Velociraptors, all those they motherfuckers. They have all the bones. I believe we don't know exactly what they look like based off the bones because every year it changes. Now they have had now they have feathers on their backs and other things and shit. Like they it changes, obviously. <clears throat> we find like more intact pieces of them. But what an elaborate hoax if at some point on Earth a bunch of our ancestors just made up fake weird big bones and just hit them everywhere. Because, yeah, like, not, what what would be, what's the other? What would be the point, though? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, Why would, would we do but that? But, see, that's my whole thing. To like, push the theory of evolution. But how does how does that, how do they benefit because of that? Because it, it's like science. It kind of like, oh, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Isn't... It got to be some kind of end, end game. That's not a good end game for it for me. Like, even, like, the whole thing about aliens. Like, why won't? They be honest about what's going on with uh, our planet, our atmosphere, space, and all that stuff. I don't know why they're trying to conceal things, opposed to being upfront about it and us being able to, uh, you know, act like we know it's really here. Dinosaurs. So, so you think that all the bones are planted and like put there and all this kind of shit? No, I, I believe in dinosaurs, but I I believe that we cannot completely trust the scientists and all this shit that they're giving well, us. Well, let me ask you a question because I literally just read this this morning. Why were you reading it? He was taking a shit. He had and he oh. needed something to read. Absolutely. Uh, were you there, apparently? <laughs> <Are you guys dating? laughs> But that's a normal morning routine for the most people. You know, I don't know. You don't sleep, so. I don't. Whatever. But the point is, is that Egyptians, they have just now found. So like, when you say Egypt, we're black people, right? <laughs> no, the I white ones. I have a question. The white ones? The white Egyptians. <laughs> the white Egyptians back in the day. <laughs> so, AD, a- a- the, yeah. the, the Egyptians that, because they, they say they always, just, they always try hold to on, separate Before you flip, before you flip to talk, it, real, real, real quick, it would be, they say Egyptians look like me. Is that considered black? Or is black your tone or darker? Listen, the Egyptians were definitely black. Without a doubt. They always try to separate that. It was, it's in Africa. The motherland. But you know, Everybody's yeah, but black. It's like There's North. a lot of people in Africa it's that like look Northern like me. So I'm black? Is it, it, huh? What are the races? I don't know if they're... Well, working. what's black? What's... Listen, like, what's this black? This is not my area of expertise. I would just say It this. is, however, my area of expertise. Oh, and I'll let you know... I'll let you know the hierarchy of color as my fellow oh, past God. white men have for years, okay? It's white <laughs> at the top, then it's everybody else. <laughs> but listen, we already know white people are made up of recessive genes. You guys can't be at the top. You guys can't produce black people. Black people can produce white people. We grew out of producing you. We don't <laughs> want to anymore. We tried stopping that gene. Wait, man, we had we, science. We've already had the guy on the show that let you, you know. You act like my friend Rhythm is the most expert listen, fucking dude on the that planet. Guy I'm going to challenge you. If ever I want AD to get involved in something, I'm going to have Rhythm pitch it to his hey, ass. Rhythm was in here. You know, that's hey, right. He cut to the chase. <laughs> he let you know that I'm your daddy. Okay? <laughs> Look. <laughs> Period. Okay. You came from me. Okay, Look, let's go back to the Egyptians. That's not what he said. <laughs> that's not what he said. <laughs> that's pretty much what he said. Uh, man, fuck the Egyptians. I mean, they, they have, they found bones of like giant uh, hippopotamus. Like Egyptians had fossils. Egyptians were finding fossils and they were putting them in temples. They just found a fuck ton of like old, like, fossils way earlier times than the Egyptians. So when you think about fossils, it's like a new thing. Egyptians were finding fossils a long time ago. How are they still finding shit, too? Why haven't they found every fucking thing in, in the Egypt? Planet? Period. Nah. How, how are we sure that they're just not combining a bunch of different f- bones and creating just, like, creatures? Uh, out we of don't it? know shit. 
Oh, these well, here's my theory with the Egyptians' the gods. That's what happened. Because now that they found these things, it's basically giant hippopotamuses, and then there's, like, some other bones in there. They're still trying to figure it all out. But, like, I think that's where they got... So the temple that they found him in was a temple to a god who has a hippopotamus face okay. and the body of a man. What if they were just, like, certain... They were like, well, this thing must have lived here. And then they created their stories that way based on what was laying around the land. Maybe they were really, like, Indiana Jones fossil finders first. And right. that's how they thought about everything. And, and crocodiles. They they're dinosaurs, too. Absolutely. Those I, are- we've had to have talked about my theory oh, of God. what happened to Earth before to? on here. I think, I think so. We're obligated to. Because we're... All that shit still exists. Dinosaurs are still here. Okay. Beside the alligator and beside that other thing, that the giant lizard thing, whatever that thing's called. What is it called? Komodo dragon? Yeah. And beside sharks. The, and sharks. Sharks are considered dinosaurs? Sharks have been here before trees. Sharks have survived four world apocalypses. Older than trees, my friend. Where were the dolphins? Fucking. As <laughs> dolphins do. <laughs> but. Yeah. You know what was the first shark? What? The black shark. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. For sure. I hate this fucking show. <laughs> That's definitely I fucking a fucking hate, true statement. I fucking hate this show. You know how sharks got <laughs> oh, created? Oh, God. Here we go. Sharks right. got created by the first black president. <laughs> <laughs> John Hansen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> created sharks as we know them He's today. A scientist too. <laughs> scientist slash president. Of course. We all know Einstein was really black. You see his curly hair. He looked like you right now. You mean Rick? <laughs> Look, my theory is some sort of radiation hit the earth. Giant amounts of radiation. What happens? What do we use radiation for today? Nuclear plants? To shrink cancer. Yeah, to shrink I things. Cancer if you, we shrink down cancer, right? Everything shrinks with that type of sh- okay. fucking reaction. Okay. 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 So mass radiation. Put it together, Josh. Mass radiation hit the earth, and that's why alligators are still here. They're just smaller. Sharks are here. They're just smaller. They're still megalodons. They just don't have the ability to grow that big. Giants used to exist on Earth, but when the radiation hit, we had to go inside into caves, and now we can only grow to max seven or eight feet because when you put a fish in a bowl, it can only grow as big as the bowl it's in until you put it in a bigger bowl, and then it can get bigger and bigger and bigger. And now we got Wimba and Yanu. Hey, listen. That fucker's 12 feet tall. Let me tall. tell you something. I really think you might be onto something. Usually everything you say be a bunch of bullshit. Thank you. <laughs> but this one right here, you came from the bottom of the earth with this one. Thank you. You might be, eh, it's something Radiation there. Radiation shrunk something there. everything. It's something there. All the birds are the dinosaurs, the chickens, T-Rexes, them little arms. <laughs> Fucking, dude, the rhinos, they lost their, look, tigers, saber two tigers. What happens when you get chemo? You lose your teeth and your hair, right? They lost their big ass fangs. They got shorter hair. What happened to mammoths? They're elephants. They lost their fucking hair from the radiation. They still have a little bit on, right? They look like bald chemo patients. This motherfucker is really coming with some shit. Hey, listen, listen. There's something Mad to that. Mad reptiles still exist that just shrunk down in size. Lizards, God. snakes. Okay. Fucking I can, I giant. Can get into you know, that. sloths. Sloths used to be about eight feet tall. Look okay. at sloths. Still exist. They're just not eight feet tall. Why? They just stopped breeding eight feet tall sloths. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Something had to happen. He's on to something. Makes sense. Josh's theory about evolution and life. Now, why would they want to keep that hidden? I'm not saying they want to keep it hidden. I just think they're fucking stupid and they're not looking. That's they're not what looking it seems, in the that's right direction. That's what it direction. seems like to me. Oh, okay. So you I feel just... like everybody wants a different answer, but I think everything still sort of exists. Like, I see new creatures every day online. Like, new not creatures? like I'm not in the jungle and shit, but like, I'm like, where the fuck did this animal come from? Mm-hmm. Now that like the internet exists and people are like putting animals up and shit. It's like, what the fuck is this thing? There's, like, a lot of species, you know what well, I mean? Well, underneath we the ocean, like, half oh. the ocean hasn't been explored. Yeah, there's tigers. Do right. you know what they found? An ocean 
three times bigger than our surface ocean in our core is something called blue rock that absorbs the fucking, it's a new type of water. It's not liquid. It's not gas. It's not a solid or whatever. It's a fucking, it's a form of like this shit that absorbs up into this shit called blue rock that's underneath the core of the earth. And there's three times as much water in there than our surface earth. Wow. 400 miles down. This might be your best show ever. <laughs> what? This is, I mean, I really feel like like you dropping some real facts. Usually everything you say is just like frustration and, and bullshit ass facts and yeah. crazy theory. You might be onto some shit now. Thank you. Listen. I like to research the earth. Dr. Of shit. Josh, you guys. He might be a genius. He might, might be. <laughs> might be. Might be. Might be with that shower cap on. <laughs> Never know what you could do next. Exactly. You need to start wearing the that shower cap. Probably help. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think that's what it is. Keeping all the yeah. intelligence in your head. So it won't let it there. escape. Maybe it was the food. There was a nice potluck going on before here. That's true. Yeah, I had a nice meal before. My thoughts are about me. My wits are about, you know. Okay. No, I've just been, you know, looking into a lot of shit. I really think giants definitely existed. Giants are giants are the missing link. I think that's what they're hiding the from The missing us. link to what? To our evolutionary past. Why? Because that's where we came from. We came from giant fucking people. We just and where did, well, you, and and where did know, the giants you, come you from? You know what the theory about giants are, right? In thinner atmospheres, they say it, it elongates you and make you longer. And they're saying those people from space, when they came here, they were obviously taller in this environment. Yeah, but all that might be true. But I think it was the radiation that shrunk them down. After they came here. They were still able to be tall and shit. They were giants. Giants ruled the land for a long time. Then the radiation hit. They probably had like pet fucking T-Rexes and shit. Was there women giants too? Giant pussy. Big ass titties. Okay, okay. But who (laughs) who created the giants then? Huh? Where did the giants come from? Who created them? Listen, I already told y'all. Once we see an alien land on Wilshire, y'all could go and do this with the Bible. Throw and throw that thing away. It's over with. You can't. You can't tell me anything, friend. Everybody, I'm not. You, but we, but you don't. I but, need but a you different story. But you don't believe in the. Th- do you believe in the theory of evolution? Fuck no. I don't believe in that stupid ass shit. <laughs> then what do you believe in? Where did we come from? I don't know what happened. I just know we not saying everybody came out of a fucking pond. I'm not going with that one. I don't think that's. I mean, that is the theory of evolution. We started as a pond, then we started they walking. People, they start climbing out. Yeah, but look at that. Come that's on. not. It wasn't like just people just started climbing out of the ocean. Come on, it took millions of years. Then of why? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It didn't happen overnight. Yeah, I know we keep. Why saying do we that, share? How? Is, why do we share 98 percent of DNA with everything on Earth? Because we're all somehow related. Are we related to monkeys? Then, yeah. So, before you ever we were, seen a bald monkey? No, remember that one monkey I showed you that was walking around? It was like <laughs> <laughs> he's evolving. I'm telling you, <laughs> he was like walking around like a human and shit. The shit was fucking wild. But listen, I'm not saying that we're not somehow connected. I'm just saying we can't say everybody climbed out the uh, some kind of pond. I'm not. I'm just. That's it's not everybody. It's like. Two no, pe- no, that's two- actually everybody. The the ant, the tiger, <laughs> the monkey. I thought it only human. meant humans. I thought no, no, no every, it's everything. everything came out of the ocean and branched off of like into. Different Are you going species. for that? Are you going for that, Alejandro? Seems reasonable. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Like we know we're little amoebas, you know, and then no, 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 no. T- tell me about childbirth. Does that seem if you were to explain childbirth That's to somebody who, who never in their life had thought about childbirth or had it around them or like they just what do you think they would think about it? You know, I jerk my dick and I put this little white shit inside of this female and then that shit crawls up inside of her and it turns into a 10 pound baby at the end. Listen, that's my whole thing. We're that's not evolution here, right there. Just it, Isn't that the process of evolution happening this is in my front of your whole face? Thing even about that. We're sitting here it's looking. It's not real. We're <laughs> sitting here looking for aliens. 
and looking in the sky. We are the fucking aliens. Childbirth is a fucking alien activity. That's some alien ass shit right there. We are the aliens. We're looking around and we're the fucking aliens. Have you seen the movie Prometheus? No. So in the beginning, an alien drinks uh, like a liquid and then he disintegrates and then it falls into a river. And then that river is a bunch of DNA just forming and eventually humans came out of that. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that theory? Uh, that would alien be came in, drank some shit, he disintegrated, but it created a bunch of bunch of DNA that formed in the river and then that DNA crawled out of the river. I think he that just came here and tough. fucked a monkey. That sounds tough too. I'm not really <laughs> I'm not really going for any of this bullshit. You don't think an alien fucked a monkey? <laughs> That's how we got here. <laughs> but where did the monkey come from then? Exactly. Where was the monkey? Hey, look, I don't know, man. I'm not saying I have the answer. I'm Here's just the saying, question I'm I have. I'm not going with the theory of evolution. You do That's believe it. in aliens, though? Absolutely. Did if aliens just appear in the universe on their planet? How do you think an alien happened? I don't know. In Listen, I'm not saying I have the answer. I'm saying I just don't agree with that answer. You don't think that we're... Maybe aliens are either a devolved or a, a evolved. evolved version of us. I can get into some of that. So then you got to then get in with evolution. Otherwise, you can't. Listen, ev listen, evolution could sell me on it if we're not talking about everybody coming out a fucking Let pond. me show you this. Everybody stops working out, right? They just stuck in their phones and they start to get... More pulled forward and down and like this. And then all we do is we, our brains start to grow because we just information, 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 no strength. And then we stay inside all the time and our skin starts to turn pale and gray. And over thousands of years, millions of years, that's how the grays happened. Computers. And now the grays keep coming back as space travelers trying to warn us about what's going to happen. Do you honestly <laughs> believe that we came out of a fucking pond? No, I think we came out of the ocean. So you think everything, the birds, the alligators, all, everything came out no, of I the ocean? No, I think other things came out of ponds. Some things came out of... Ocean water. Some things came out of fresh water. Some things came out. That's what I think. It had to come out of the water. water. It couldn't have come out of the land. But I also think the DNA all right, all right. and all the other stuff and all that, it didn't come from some alien. It came from comets. And comets carry everything. Everything on Earth, basically, Earth and space share the same characters. We share... I the same characteristics and DNAs, like, and as all these comets are hitting Earth with all their fucking everything that's being held inside of it, that's how the Earth was formed. All the water came from space. Well, so you guys believe in the Big okay, Bang? Wait, 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 you guys wait, wait. believe in the Big Bang? Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. This is what I'm talking about. Wait, wait, wait. That's wait. how the Earth he was formed. He just said all the water came from space. I just want him to elaborate on that. <laughs> if you don't know, just say you don't know. <laughs> Because Such a long fucking story. Give me the short fucking version. How did we all, how did all the water come from space? Well, you know, when it rains, I mean, that water comes from where? The clouds, the atmosphere, things like that, right? So when the earth before, when the atmosphere was building and all the fucking earth was being hit by comets that were filled with, comets are like sometimes frozen. They bring space ice. They bring all types of different shit. The earth is being bombarded with all this shit and for years, it was just like acid rain, like millions of years, just like acid rain hitting down on the fucking earth. And then it made this, came back into the, did this filtration system, become the ocean waters. Earth hit, boom, 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 swirled around, created the moon. That's how we got the fucking waves going. And that's when we started to be able to form life how, on earth. Okay. How, okay. I've seen you throw the moon in there. How what, what how the moon just <laughs> I just want to know I just want to know I jumped a few million years yeah. how, did the, the moon. how did so what formed the moon the <laughs> collision of two planets <laughs> <laughs> the collision of two planets placed perfectly <laughs> together <laughs> Wait a minute. you really want to say this out loud so two <laughs> planets crashed into each other. Earth is actually the ha two halves of two different planets. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not a scientist. 
<laughs> you guys are laughing. <laughs> but as soon as you release this video, you're going to look fucking retarded online because I, I that's don't a fact. Care. Right now, it's you. <laughs> Listen, so we said there was two planets crashed into each other. Fused together, created okay. what we are. All the space, all the rocks from the collision. Right. And the gravity of the Earth then spinning for millions of okay. years, all those rocks outside formed together in a ball that then started spinning around and creating gravity as we know it today. That is the theory of the moon and space and, and gravitational so pull. Giant, so, so that's how planets are formed. I mean, I'm going with what science <laughs> is going. Like I'm, It's not like I made this up. Uh, no, no, I know I just told you a theory I no, made up, but this be- <laughs> one is one that humans made up. Yeah, like, but, not but obviously you believe it. I mean, do you have a better, like, oh, you, oh, the big America theory behind everything, the conspiracy. There must be someone living in the moon and controlling all of us. And it was built by mankind and it's hollow. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> I'm, I was just trying to understand. So what are you trying to say? So that? The moon, it was too... Planets that crashed into each other, and you the said Earth that's how Earth is two planets technically the, fused together. It's two. Do you, what were those planets called <laughs> at the time? I don't fucking know. That. I don't think they had names. Oh, just Planet A but, and Planet B. Yeah, but they call them that. <laughs> They're bigger planets than Earth. I would assume. Because uh, why, why are we able to? I mean. I mean, I'm just. I don't know I'm what just, size they were. I don't know why you guys think that I'm like. Was it ex- like a perfect match, or how did they stick together? How Gra- the f- the gravity exist? It didn't exist when those two planets crashed together. Again, you guys are asking me. You guys are trying to like be I mean, funny and dig into things because you guys are uneducated <laughs> on what science says was, about how the know, Earth was created. But that's Dr. not my fault. Dr. You guys Josh. don't really actually Dr. know any Josh, I just facts you know. about the Earth, which Dr. is crazy. Dr. Josh, I just want to know, like, what made them stick together? Was it super glue? How the fuck do I know? <laughs> How do I know? When a comet goes through, when a comet goes through in fucking space and collides with another comet and gets bigger and bigger and bigger, how do they stick together? I don't super exactly. glue. How I the fuck do I know? Glue. That's how the super glue. I'm sure. Okay, I get what like again. <laughs> you guys are gonna look stupid when the internet finds out you have no actual knowledge in your brains. I have because no, that's let me, actual let me cut facts. Them off at the hips. Because I have no actual knowledge of this. Okay, because Period. that's the actual I, what to science sell me says that two planets to the crash Earth. together. <laughs> they crash together and they stuck and they just. They kind of just stuck together. That's a tough one. That's not what. See, you're taking it as like this, this super cartoony, like, <laughs> and they stuck together. They collided, created a big ass fucking bang. That's the big. Wait, that's a big. That's the big bang theory. That's what you said. It's the big bang. No, theory. the big bang theory is different, but. But that's what happened. Hey, did you believe in the Big Bang Theory? Fuck no. He doesn't believe in in anything. I don't believe in anything. (laughs) Believe in none of this shit. I I think we're all being lied to. Because none of this shit sounds real. Josh actually believes two planets crash together most of the moon and the fucking Earth. I think most of the reason that most people think that way and they think like, no, I don't believe it, is because of the miseducation and the fact that you actually don't know the facts about those things this is or the most thing, of the shit Josh, you talk about. This is the thing, and me, me and you always talk about this. They act as if they know until they don't. They always tell us, hey, no, this is it. It only happened this way. Then three years later, it'd be like, no, nah, that, that, that didn't happen. For, for no, a I'm just yeah. saying that they don't know but what how, the fuck But how should you suspect we go through life? Just, eh, just not believe in bullshit. Did you guys, did you guys see that over there? For or the longest here? time, we eh, believe Earth was so the okay. center of the universe. And then it was proven bullshit. Exactly. So when you get, some, but until you prove otherwise of what I just told you, then I guess the best theory would be that. That's a tough one. The planets crashing together. My theory is a white guy uh-huh. with a white beard just created everything. That's probably true. His name was and God. His, God. And he white. was white. God was white. Yeah, he had to be. <laughs> <laughs> He hey, would, listen, I can tell you right now, my God ain't white. He would never... <laughs> my God is not fucking white. And you know what? That, it's, it's funny we even talk about that because I was talking about this 
to uh, uh, one of my friends. And I just want to know you guys' perspective because you're Latin, you're white, I'm black. If I walk into a church. You're black? Uh, yeah. I got to get off this show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, no, but church, when, when I walk into a church, and this is where I always have trouble. When they're acknowledging someone that doesn't look like me, I'd be like, that's, I can't get into it. I'm just going to tell you, I that's the biggest pussy ass shit I ever heard good. you say. I, good. That's exactly I what can't, I'm doing. I, I can't, can't. I can't. I can't think of anything unless it looks just like me. No, I can't. That sounds ridiculous. No. So when you go, listen, you haven't been able, you haven't faced this because you are white. Why? So you, you haven't walked into a church and seen a black God. And so you haven't faced that. So for when you're black, it's an issue for you. It is. And I just wanted to know, as being a Latin person, when you walk in there, if you don't feel like you're being identified or associated with that person on the wall that you guys are worshiping, do you feel like you're doing the right thing? Is that the right thing for you? I feel like the Jesus that um, I grew up with had a tan. So he kind of looked like me a little bit. So that that's, that made it okay for you. I don't know. I'm let me. I, ask I, I was raised Catholic. I did the first communion until a certain point, but after that, I didn't doesn't do your shit. community control the church? Your community? Yeah, like the community you live in. My community. Like if I, I live, live in, in a community, in that Canyon. community would control <laughs> that church. If you live in whatever, there's a community around these churches. If, if this is, I'm trying to tell y'all. Look. I, like, if I was Let white, me get if to I my was, question. If I was white and I walked in there and the fucking it was a black god on the wall, I'd be like, no, nah, that's why, not for me. Why in your community of I am guessing predominantly black people, uh huh, would you hang a white Jesus in your church? I would never do that. So then, why have you ever felt that way when you went into a church? No, I was asking you. I have you guys felt that way? I've seen it before. I, I, I've seen it before. I see it on TV all the time. They try to make this association. I'd be like, that doesn't represent me. It's hard for me to understand that. As a, I just don't. As a Hispanic, I'm sort of confused of what I am right now. You're because, a mixture of both of us. Exactly. You're a product of us. Yeah, but there's there's his there's bitch. His, <laughs> clearly on the totem pole. Third, but that's not, that's not a Hispanic. That's a mulatto because there's Hispanics as white as Josh, and there's Hispanics as black that's as true. you, that's and true. then like most of us look like me. However, it's when you say like black, white, ourselves. Hispanic, it, I'm confused. Like, yeah, we that's know you're I, confused. That's we I haven't gotten into confused. that in a look, while. But. Look, like I said, man, that's the most confusing thing in the world. Especially, can you imagine being a kid and being introduced to that and they're telling you, that's your God. That's tough. That's, that makes that, whether or not we understand it or not, that makes that person you know feel less like, than that other person on there. And that person has a color. That's how that's you should issue. feel. That's supposed to be a God. The Egyptian gods were blue. You think they walked around like, you know, I can't identify with Horace. He has a goat head. God damn it. <laughs> it just sounds like that's just some. But the thing, like, uh, use is, your imagination. Josh, you were never faced with that. So you don't know how it feels. <laughs> this, I have feelings. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I'll tell you this. Growing up, I always rooted for black people. Because um, that's like. Well, I, in Puerto Rico, you. in Puerto Rico, Good for you. we're a territory of United States. So we grew up watching American media. So in American media, either white, black, and then sometimes they trickle in some Hispanic, but mostly black and white. So I always rooted for Michael Bick. You know, I always wanted black quarterbacks to win. I, I don't know. You know, in movies, Matt, I watch Matt TV. I relate more to Aries than Bobby Lee. Or McDonald's. Is Bobby Lee what? Bo yeah, I, I, I wanted to say McDonald's. I forgot the name of the white people in Matt Nor TV. Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. Not I don't know. Yeah, but all what you guys are saying is ridiculous to me because you said you were face to blah, blah, blah. My whole life I grew up uh, idolizing rappers and other people. that I didn't grow up like, you know, I can't really identify with Tupac because he doesn't have blonde hair. Or I can't really identify with Snoop because he doesn't but you smoke had, white weed with me. But you had like, M and M. Josh, you have to admit that you are different, though. So be different. I can't. 
Stop having to be like, I need black Jesus to be I holy. Do. I do. I need black Jesus to be in that motherfucking church. Here's where okay. I ain't going. Let's get to I'm this. not going. Let's get to this. I got a big question, and this is mo- mainly for the internet, because I know you guys don't know shit about shit. So, oh, wait. You grew up say, Muslim, though. What does huh? that have to do with black Jesus? What, Muslims? Muslims believe in Jesus? Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> they believe in all the prophets. They just think Muhammad was the last one. I don't know if they call him black Jesus. Do they hang black Jesus up in in Arab churches? Or do they talk about Jesus as like a light-skinned white guy? So we've already said uh, Nation of Islam. That's where I was a part of. (laughs) And guess what? When you go in there, there are black people on the walls. Period. End of discussion. Is it Jesus, though? Huh? No, they're not Jesus. Huh? Are there people my color on the wall? Your color? My color, yeah. Close. What about my color? We don't have a pretty spot segregated. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty segregated. But let's get back to okay. Let's go. Blacks being the first of everything. Oh God! <laughs> Yo, why, why are we going over this, man? Everybody knows I was first. Look, even if you were, here's my thing: black, the black Jewish people, right? Who uh-huh. one day we're gonna have on this show as soon as I find somebody else to battle rap them as a Hebrew person. The black Israelites. Exactly. <laughs> As a black Israelites, right now in this country, we have black Israelites. We have LGBTQ, and we have a ton of other misinformed people siding with a group of people who would want nothing less than to destroy those people. Now, if the original Jewish people were black... What is stopping current black people from being Jewish? There is nowhere where the state of Israel has ever said black people don't come home. There's no space where Israel or Jewish people or the Jewish religion has ever said black people don't practice our religion. Do does the black Israelites do the people who believe they're the original Jews? Do they want everybody who's currently Jewish and has been and their family's been practicing Judaism for thousands of years? Should they stop being Jewish and then only the new OG black Israelites can study the Bible? Or what would you expect current Jewish people to do about you choosing to or to not? Believe or follow a religion. Okay, I have a. I can start. I don't with, even know what you were talking about. I think I, I know. No what, I, I think somehow, I know where you're somehow, headed. Somehow we just jump subjects, and I, I thought we were talking about. The, a this whole is why thing. we're talking about black Jesus. This is why black Jews. I, let's talk about the Ethiopian Jews that are black. Yeah. I think they're scared. I know to go, nothing about religion. I'm going to sit I think they're scared out. to go to that land to Israel. Yeah. Do you know how many Ethiopian Jews live in Israel? Thousands, can I, can hundreds I, of thousands. Okay. Go ahead. So when a bunch of Ethiopian Jews migrated to Israel, they gave them con- uh, like certain things so they cannot have birth. What? So contra? Uh, what, what do you call that? Contraceptives. So it messes with their, you know, birthing in the future. So they gave them some kind of whatever, so it wouldn't allow them to produce. Yeah. So if I were to go to a country that unknowingly so gave Ethiopian me that, so Ethiopian Jews don't produce heirs in Israel currently today. No, they do, but they gave a lot of that shit to some of them. That I will be scared to live in a land where. Would you be scared to live in a land where people were infested with herpes and a whole bunch of other diseases because they were a certain skin tone? Because you currently live in said land. Yeah, so and, watch and, what you and, fucking and, like. You live in a land that does the same. And, so what and, you and United States also did that to Puerto Ricans too. Exactly. So you want to you want to take something that was obviously something going on in the world, and you want to again shun Jewish people. I love uh, when Jewish people would accept anyone being Jewish. Th- There's no it, Jewish place that says well, don't we, be Jewish. I, I don't how do we know, get like, on the I, Jewish I, thing? Ju- Ju- Judaism confuses me because is it a religion or a nationality? Technically. Uh, I mean, it's a religion. Okay. But I feel Jewish, like some people are taking Judaism as a nationality when it's a religion. In Israel, on your birth certificate, it says Jew if you're Jewish. It says Jewish. So It's a nationality too now. 
Well, it says Jewish other birth certificates. <sighs> okay. Israeli I don't want to delve too much in it. I just uh, want you to, because I want to know, it's a nationality and a religion I just want to know what's the argument. Just be Jewish. Okay. Just be Jewish. Practice I'm agnostic, Jewish man. Religion. I don't want to practice no religion at all. Why are you agnostic? Let's talk about that. Because... I believe you should be good to your fellow man, to every man. But I just find that most of religion is a bunch of people who wrote down rules and they just want to control society, similar to government. So you don't believe there's a God? I, w- I hope that, that there's a, a God. A I you hope, hope that there's a that God. How is that a hell of a leap? You just, he just said why, why he didn't believe in it or be- believe in certain religions. And then you said, why does that have to be associated with God? I mean, that's what religion you can, is. You could believe in God and not believe in uh, partaking in certain religions. Why not? I'll answer your question. I hope that there's a God. I hope that there's more to this world than our physical state. That once our physical bodies perishes, there's another, you know. But that one we, of those. That we can transcend something and maybe. But. I personally feel that we die and that's it. And the TV goes black. But hopefully, I hope that there's more to that. But What? Like, my logical brain tells me once we die, the TV goes black and that's it. That's the whole point of religion. You have to have a big enough belief to be able to not think that. So either you do or you don't believe in God. It's not like a like I said. Like I said, my logical brain tells me that there's no God. But I hope that there's a God because, you know, if, it will be fucking sad if there isn't. Well, that being said, you're not going to get to see him anyways because you're walking around saying you don't believe in him. And well, every, and then, every religion know, says you got to recognize him. Then I guess, you know. One of the biggest things in the don't Bible is recognize, the, if, motherfucker. If, if that God doesn't understand the nuance of my thinking, then I don't want to be there. Well, good luck in hell. <laughs> Hey, right. man, it's not fun talking religion with you. I don't you know suck. anything about religion. You grew up Muslim and went to every church. Your grandma was a fucking goddamn yeah. slayer of religion. I know, but you know what? She didn't really... T- I was just there to eat. <laughs> <laughs> clearly. <laughs> fucking clearly. I went to uh, Islamic... Uh, I participated in that till I was about four. Then my grandmother started taking me to Christian churches. And, you know, it just seemed like... You know what? Religion to me has caused so much, so many issues, wars, fights, and all that stuff. It's hard for me to see the good in it because everybody is, everyone's at odds trying to pr- prove that their religion is better than the other religion. Do you think that the world was a better place when it was just like more religion? I think the world would be a better place if people just respected each other for whoever they want to be. That's, yeah. what, that's what I think. You say that at the same time you wouldn't let your kid go into a transgender bathroom. I'm not letting, because I don't, <laughs> but see, that's the whole thing. No, th- no, no, listen, to th- listen, I can respect you and not participate. That's me. Guess what? I respect anybody want, who would, they can do whatever the fuck they want. It doesn't mean that I have to participate. I don't want to participate. So I'm going to go over here. And that's okay. But guess what? I respect them. They can do whatever the fuck they want. I don't care. All right, man. I just want to go over here. Look, let's talk about something serious. Well, well it, there was a rumor, and Barstool posted it so I, we can talk about it. Well, because that's official. Go no, ahead. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> we're not going to get sued. We're not going to We're not going to Sue them get, first. Exactly. Sue <laughs> them first. So apparently, Leonardo DiCaprio... Went to West Hollywood with his 25-year-old girlfriend, and he got caught with the girlfriend trying to finger his ass. So? Yeah, so? No problem with that? That's, well, that's, his, that's, that's his between thing, him like, and his what girlfriend. What are we talking about? Yeah, apparently, <laughs> apparently that's something he may like or don't like. Did he slap her hand? No, I think he, you know. He loved it. Yeah. Good for him. That's him. He likes it. If he's yeah. not taking actual dick in the ass like Dwight Howard or like Whoa. some sort of controversy, you know what I mean? Like, what are we talking about? His girlfriend fingered him in the ass? Will you let a girl finger you in your ass? Me, we've already talked about this before. We went over this topic before. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember, remember you uh, yeah, I, making a... What's, we, what's, what's your point on this? 
I just want to know where you stand. No, like I'm not into, <laughs> not into I'm not into butt shit. But it's the same thing. <laughs> you had me scared for a second. But this, <laughs> I thought you were about to jump off but the bridge. But it's the same thing. We've talked about this. You can pull it back up. We talked. We had the same stupid ass conversation. But me personally, I wouldn't let a girl eat my ass either. I'm cool on that. One. Or maybe it was that. <laughs> it was one of these that we talked. No about. ass play over here. Yeah. But, no, thank you. But you know, if whatever, Leo, he's an actor. What did everyone not think he's probably sucked a few dicks in his life? That's, that how it that's goes? really horrible. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we get why we, we Remember, always jump off the bridge. Nah, what's no, what's his name said that shit? Uh, who plays Bane? Oh, Tom Hardy? Tom Hardy said in an interview, they asked him if he's bisexual because they heard rumors or whatever. And he's like, I'm an actor. Of course, I've been gay. Like, basically, he said that. He's like, of course, I'm gay. I'm an actor. <laughs> oh, like he played a gay person? No, like he's done gay shit. Oh. If you do one gay act in your life. Like on scene? On no, set? no, 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 no. In your personal life. Let's say you let a guy suck you off. Are you gay? Like one time, you're gay, gay forever. Fuck. You're gay forever. What you are about, gay? Is, is it like it's like a three year thing? Like, well, I haven't had any, I haven't had any more contact for three years. It rubbed off. I'm on gay again. It's like a YouTube claim. After three months, it disappears. It disappears. Oh man. <laughs> no. You gotta, you're gay. You got to put a rainbow fucking sticker on your fucking that's car what for I, three I months. Don't understand. You are gay. So a girl can kiss a girl. Totally and not she's gay. straight. She's straight if she, you know, she prefers guys. But if a guy Hell kisses yeah. a guy, he's gay forever. Definitely. That's what I don't understand. Why? <laughs> How did we get to this? How do you not understand? I, it's like, you know, like after you kiss a, and, and let me put it clear. I've never kissed a guy in the lips. I'm Hold on. Where did you kiss him? No, like, you know, you <laughs> <laughs> I heard clearly through your statement, pal. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, like, your dad, your brother in Latin culture, you keep each other in the yeah, cheeks yeah, okay, when you say, you. you know, when you see nah, them. I slap my dad a high five. <laughs> Like say them Latins. <laughs> oh, la oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Latins. Uh, you know, I guess. Even the black Latins, too. Listen, high five. <laughs> Latins? Black, yeah. <laughs> we high five it. But, it kiss me on my cheek. What the fuck am I? I'm three? So you're gay forever. You do some silly gay shit once. Yes, we're sorry, to, Alejandro. To, to experiment and you're gay forever. Experiment. We're sorry, Alejandro. <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> you can't get it back. <laughs> Yeah, you can't come back from that. Yeah, you're tomfoolering around, you know, one second, you know, you're playing around with your guy friend, and then the I other second, no, no, you're... No, you know why this is, you know why this is, you know what the difference is? Everybody talk about the difference between men and women. We have to actually be aroused to participate. So therefore, you have to like it in some way, shape, or form. If a man tries to touch me, there's going to be no reaction other than punching him in the face. That's it. So... It, so when, I think that's the difference between men and women. Men have to be aroused to literally participate and to get, some degree. I don't get what you're saying. Women okay, don't so, have to be aroused to kiss each other. They're just like, oh, hey, bitch. What do you mean? I don't understand. You know, I'm talking about like in the actual sexual act. No, not, not just I, 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 oh, I, 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 yeah. I thought you meant like kissing. No, 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 no. Like uh, I get it because if a girl, you know, is getting her pussy eaten by a girl, she doesn't have to get an erection there to perform. You go. A there guy you... needs an erection. However, let's say you're in jail for 15 years and then you're fucking you a guy, moments. but you're, you're, you're thinking about a girl. While you're fucking the guy. First of all, that's a misnomer too, because females like it's no fun to like. What are you gonna eat, dry pussy? Because like, it's alive. But see, you I know, can tell I know when girls. girls that be, I know girls that be like, yeah, I participated, but I didn't really do nothing for them. But ask her for pussy got wet. Hmm. Okay, well that's fair. Listen, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I ask her. Yeah. <laughs> but my whole thing is like we have to be aroused to literally participate. So therefore, it's hard to say you don't like it if you are aroused. Period. Yeah, but a girl is not aroused just because she takes a dick, or like takes a t like that. She. Well, you, we already know, know that because we had a guest on the show that said she had been having sex with men the whole entire time and hated every single moment of it. Now, Again, do you believe her? I'm not sure. I'm not really rolling because with that one, but it was, a, it was, she tried to sell it to me. <laughs> she tried to, it was a good sale. I mean, you know. You ever got like dick burns from dry pussy? Yes. <laughs> well, it was probably they're going on for too long, AD, or she wasn't Definitely turned on. Definitely for going on for too long. <laughs> 
however they the do. The Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Sword Vitality. Sword Vitality. <laughs> Sword Vitality. Two commercials today. <laughs> There's also the, they do say when, let's say, a woman is getting raped, that eventually they'll, you know, play something in her mind to get them through with the, with the, what's happening. Yeah, because dry pussy probably doesn't feel good for that. Yeah. Probably hurts worse, anyways. But let's not talk about rape. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Damn. God, fuck. What what the the fuck? Yeah, I'm bringing it down a notch. Uh, Jesus uh, Christ. The, the, the last 30 minutes have been weird. <laughs> God damn. It always it's Halloween. Th- <laughs> it, I guess so. I tell you, it's the spirit, the energy. You guys ever. F- Go. Speaking of Halloween, you guys ever uh, fucked a bitch on her period? Of course. But like, cra- Every- you ever come out of it like. Just great. looking like DMX on the yes. cover of fucking... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm for flesh of my flesh, blood of my I don't blood. enjoy it. Oh, just coming out of the usually, bedroom. Usually if, that's, if that happens, <laughs> and usually I'm already protesting like I'm good. Really? But, yeah, I'm good. No, my conversation is like, oh, I'm on my period. It's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you just put a towel in. Like, I'm not going to say no to sex because of a little I blood. I smelling blood. I'll just be like, yeah, I could... That's why Alejandro's girlfriends get yeast infections. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm passing up. I'm like, tell me you're on your period. That's some that's some safe pussy tonight. I'm good. You I'm ever, like, and then you don't have to worry you about getting her pregnant either. You ever fucked a bitch that she didn't tell you? No. That's and you just came me. out like, what happened? <laughs> I killed her? <laughs> Are you alive? Wake up. <laughs> Please. Wake up. <laughs> Turn all the lights like, fuck. <laughs> Speaking of bloody messes, did you see this fucking hockey player? Now, some people, you've seen the highlight. Some people on the internet are claiming that it was intentional and that he should struggle be, with that. And no he way. should be charged I with murder. I struggle with that. Oh, so he's fucking gently and can spin on one fucking cleat and... Directly slice somebody in the throat yeah. on fucking ice. I don't, I don't think anyone. I don't what think is an assassin. Athlete, yeah, I don't think an <laughs> athlete is gonna intentionally hurt another athlete because he is an athlete. I just, I think he wants to win. He a push shove. He but tried kill, to kill. He tried to kill him. He That's tried to tough. check the other guy and like missed. And when he missed, he went like this, and his leg flew up in the fucking air. And the dude was just like in a terrible spot. No, the crazy thing, it kind of showed the ineffectiveness of the uh, the um, medical staff of the NHL because he's literally skating off, bleeding the death. It wasn't the, the NHL. Death. It was like Don't a, call like a minor NHL league. Like oh, We're so, oh, we apologize minor? to the yeah. NHL. Oh, it was that a minor wasn't league? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know what it was. It just looked like hockey to me, so I don't know shit. So, but it looks, so I was just like, no one rushed to that guy. No one tried to help that guy. No one did anything. He like literally skated off the ice by himself. Well, his teammate was like holding his throat. Yeah. I think his teammate was holding him up when he died. I'm pretty sure the referee like kind of helped you, him but out. Like you hold your. Like no, but you I'm get, talking about when I say help. I mean the medical staff. You get cut running the throat though. Attention. You know what I mean? Like how long that, that, until like, you die? It, it, like the, that's the a blood quick, immediately. Hush, that's a rush death. to the. It's a quick death. Yeah, that one sucks. Now, now what should be done with the players that did the slashing? Nothing. Should he play again? I think hockey? it's an unfortunate Do accident. you understand how psychologically fucked up he's probably going to be He's anyways? not going to be okay. <laughs> he's not going to check anybody. He's not going to do anything ever again. He's not okay. That guy's not okay Ain't no right way. Now. If you're another you hockey player, would you want to be in the same fucking arena as that guy? Yeah. Yeah, you don't mind, but like... You can't hold that against... That's like a... F- what that tells me, for one, is that, that Final Destination reckless. shit is real. <laughs> that Final Destination shit is real. It's reckless to check somebody in no, hockey. No, it's reckless to fucking put your legs in the air. He didn't. You think he could? You think he just threw his leg up in the air? Doesn't I mean, even make sense. You think he's trying, more or less, trying to catch his balance? He missed the one guy. He went like this, shoved off him, and did like a back turn, and that's when his leg flew up. You're trying to hit somebody as hard as you can, and you missed him. Now, if he I ran don't, out I, at him and kicked him in the like, throat, yeah, yeah, that would be completely different. I don't believe that he was trying to kill him, but I believe he was trying to put the blade on his chest to make him, you know, feel him. 
God damn. We, but then you know what they could do? He Let's wasn't. go look at the history of that player, see if he committed acts like this in the past and things like that, and then make that determination. If he doesn't have any acts like that in the past, then we call it a day. It's he an unfortunate situation. He wasn't even aiming for that guy, so I don't know what you're talking about. So in the midst of him missing the other guy, turning back in a circle, in his mind he was like, hey, fuck this guy coming around the corner. Let me jab him in his fucking chest. He wasn't going for that guy. That was the problem. Okay, perhaps it's right, but he's still fucking reckless. <laughs> and he shouldn't play another fucking game of hockey. That's crazy. Why? Because he's I, fucking right. Like, this shit never happens. Yeah, Based but unfortunate, like like Josh said, final destination. It's just like this one moment where this crazy shit happens, and that's possible. Okay, you're playing basketball, and they such a patchouli at Nope, you. don't do that. Do this. It's more equivalent. You're playing soccer. Dude goes up to kick a ball. He kicks you in the throat. You swallow your tongue and die. It happens all the fucking time. They kick the ball and the ball hits him? No, he misses the ball. He kicks you in your face. Your fucking tongue flips in the back. You start to choke on your tongue. It happens some dude almost fucking died, but there was a guy there who knew what was happening and pulled his fucking tongue out. Same shit. You think he meant to kick him in the fucking face and drop his tongue in the back of his throat and kill him? This happens in soccer? Fuck yeah, you get kicked in the face. If your tongue gets like... It can flip and like get stuck in your throat and you can die. Somebody reached in there and grabbed his fucking tongue. That dude's a hero. Hell yeah. Shout out to whoever the fuck that guy yeah, was. That dude's a fucking hero. You're out hero. there. I seen the video. Oh no, you play you played soccer. You never heard of that? Not not that, but it seems like something that could happen. Oh, okay. Never heard of anybody. Exactly, either. but you never heard of nobody getting cut in the throat with a hockey thing too. But no. it seems like something that could happen. But when I when I skate, I'm always I I suck at ice skating, but, you know, when you go to the ice skating rinks, you know, holidays or whatever, and, it, and I always fall in the ground, I'm always fucking scared of putting my hands there and somebody's going to slash my fucking... It's a fucking weapon, those ice skates. You need mm. to be more cautious of what you fucking do. I didn't know they were that sharp. No, they're like, yeah, for sure. But the, what do you mean? You got to be more cautious of what you do. You You're cannot just hockey. fucking be flawing your... This is not Draymond Green shit where you can be kicking people. You have to be cautious... When so you lose your to, So a helmet-to-helmet collision, that player should never be able to play again? Well, Shiloh Sanders got disqualified for hitting somebody uh, in the UCLA game. Yeah, exactly, but he's still going to be able to play. Yeah, but he didn't kill anybody either. Could have. Vontae Burfitt, when he almost killed Antonio Brown, like, he's not even in the league no more because he had so many incidents that eventually they'll kick you out. Yeah, but that was when they were switching everything over, though, too, and, like, mm-hmm. making examples out of people that were fucking, like, destroying people's I lives. I don't know. It's, it's horrible. But, yeah, I don't think you can charge him with murder. It's impossible. Yeah, but you yeah, just said so. you don't want him to ever play a hockey game yeah, again. Yeah, man, you fucking oh, killed the fuck? guy. Get the fuck no. out of here. You're, you're banding Acc- definitely. Accidents happen. But it's funny that you guys did talk about the UCLA game. Did y'all hear about... The Colorado players had their jewelry stolen from the UCLA locker room. Like, is that true? Let's go to our expert thief to let us know. <laughs> Hi, I'm the expert thief. But it seems to me as though this is the second time Primetime has gotten jewelry stolen in his locker room. And I've never heard about this. No, the first time is when he first became the coach. In Jackson State. Right, right. And now again at Colorado. What's the common denominator? <laughs> which kid? The common denom- which kid did he bring with him? That's still in the same locker room. Oh, you think it's somebody on the team? It never happens. All of a sudden, it's happened twice. Best friend. You think kids have never had jewelry? Kids have never been the ballers on Listen, campus. Only a real criminal could come up with that. I'm thinking it's the opposing team are taking advantage of them, and you're saying no. It's his team. How they get in the locker room? There's security standing there. There's wow. Every oh, time, please. like Jackson State, it was believable because it's lesser security. It's a lesser university. Yeah, Colorado. You're at UCLA. I know there's security standing there. Big Has ass Rose Bowl. Has Deion Sanders in town. Has Extra to security. Come on. But the players that I know that went from Jackson State. First to- of all, is LAPD hiring? Why? I feel like maybe I should just become a detective. Oh, uh, detective? With my excellent criminal background, I think I you know gotta a work few things. The beat. You, you gotta work the beat. You gotta work the streets first. <laughs> I will. With my fucking <laughs> billy club. <laughs> Spin it around. 
But the kids are the common denominator. That they they're the the ones that have been, and I doubt they have so much money. Why would they want fucking jewelry? But they're the <laughs> ones that moved from Jackson State I'm, you know to what? Colorado. To be honest, let me tell you this: Josh has convinced me it's his team <laughs> doing it, and that's the that's <laughs> that's the most bullshit. They like, man. I don't think it's his still. team. I think it's one of those kids' cousins. One of the kids that has somebody in the locker room with him is doing it. It's not the team. You would never steal from your teammates or I mean, yeah. NIL deals or shit like that. Kanye not even West like cousin stole his laptop. Not even like a lower dude, but like a cousin who's not on, who doesn't know when his next shit's coming. Maybe you're not giving him cash here. Maybe he got fucked up on the money you gave him this time. Oh, listen, I'm with you. <laughs> Josh knows. Dr. Josh fucking knows. The criminal mind. Yeah, Josh fucking knows. Josh, listen, that's, that's a good... De- you on fire First today. First place I would look. You on fire today. <laughs> you are on fucking fire today. You know, I got a lot of great theories if you would listen. Listen, <laughs> today you hit two on the nose. <laughs> All right, I think we only got one more topic to actually talk about. Who, talking guys. about how... Uh, people are mad about the white champion Tyson Fury <laughs> winning that fight clearly. Did you watch the fight? Nah, but even from the highlights, I don't think that Fury won. Well, you know, he knocked down Fury. Yeah, and Ty- and and in Ghana, I don't know. I don't in like Ghana. the murder his back name. Ghana. If you looked at their face afterwards, yeah. <laughs> but even like he didn't look tired. He didn't. I've, I've right. never seen one highlight of Fury punching him. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah. LeBron James clearly thinks Francis Ngano won. Oh, he does. Yeah, he says like that's why I don't like watching boxing. Oh. Well, maybe that's why boxing doesn't like watching your flopping ass either. Oh, oh. LeBron. Low blow to LeBron. Somebody did that. I think a football player. What? It was like after the play and some guy barely grazed him and he fell down and it was like a clear flop, but he got a, a flag for it because the ref's head was kind of turned and then it turned uh-huh. back when the guy fell. After the game, he said, I was just trying to think about what LeBron would do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying after this fight, boxing lost a lot of respect. I feel. Why they gained one of the best fighters they have. Francis Ngannou is not going to be rated in the top ten in boxing, and yeah, he's going to be like, in a championship belt. Y- he shouldn't go from MMA against the best. I don't boxer. know why that's a thing. A fight is a fight. A fighter is a fighter. Whether you train, you think he's never picked up mitts before. This is the first time he ever stood in front of somebody and boxed with his hands. He's still he's the been, champion. He's been wrestling his whole life and kicking people too. Fuck no. Fighters are fighters. You start with fucking hand fighting. Then you move to other shit. Now, if you're Francis Ngannou, do you retire as an MMA? Just stick with boxing? I'd say whoever's going to pay you the most, that's where you need to be. Yep. Period. Well, he fucking showed Dana White. Dana White was talking a lot of shit. I would do both. I bet he could what be... Was Dana, Dana White should have been on his side. Nah, no, he, he wasn't. MMA. That's why Dana White's pissed at him. Oh, okay. And they, what, said they, the, they, they said that, back? they said the third ref in the fight and it had uh, Dana White dressed in like an Arab, <laughs> like an Arab outfit. <laughs> that that is funny. so funny. Yeah, but um, I don't see it. I bet, I bet he, I bet that motherfucker is strong enough to fight a heavyweight boxing fight and then do an MMA fight the same day. Probably he so. didn't look like he was. Tired. He didn't look like he was hit, and he fought the, and he fought the best fighter in the world. Well, or what we thought. Tyson Fury ain't no joke. He ain't no punk. Yeah. I'll tell you that right now. When I seen him beat up, uh, what was the other guy? Deontay Joshua Wilder. Or? Man, Wilder. That's what I mean. That's the thing like about... He whooped, he whooped it. Like, it was jabs left and right. It was all technique. And you know Tyson Fury was angry in the fight and, like, frustrated because he elbowed the fuck out of him right in the face. And they didn't deduct the point. See? Nor the, should they. The white man always getting the calls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's I mean, why we're... The colored community is angry. But that's, like... Again, it always has to be some black or white shit. We, I, I think it, I think now is more like you know it, they're going against the boxing community because a lot of people were not happy with his brother 
uh, be uh, getting the decision against KSI. Wait, look at my, look at my. I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you look like the dude, the guy on the couch. You look like a black guy on the couch. <laughs> you ever seen half baked? <laughs> no. Don't no. worry about me. I'll be fine. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Hey, did you ever see? Uh, uh, God, the last, not the. Is it the last dragon? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, <laughs> what, the, what's that, what, what was his name? I know name? you're talking about. What was his? No, you gotta look up the last dragon. You gotta know. find find that. What was that guy's Wait, name? No, the black guy in the red outfit, the karate outfit. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What the fuck is his name? I don't know what his name is, but this is who you look like. Okay. Yeah, what's his name? Shona. Shona. Oh. This is who you look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, Shona. <laughs> this is Shona. Yeah, look. Hey, you know what? Poor if I'm moving back, I don't have to be Rick James. <laughs> I could be Shona. True. Shona. Too bad that the show is ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, you no. can be showing up for Halloween if you're going anywhere. You doing anything for Halloween? I don't really give a shit. You can literally make a synthetic version of everything on this planet but what we need. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. There's four or five animals I've read about that are immune to cancer. They can't get cancer because they either have like this, a fucking protein called p53 or some other type of thing right so we can take everything we can take anal glands of a beaver and make f synthetic raspberry but we can't take fucking yeah just so you know fake raspberry comes from beaver anus uh but we can't that is who <laughs> eats fake raspberries <laughs> why the fuck are we eating that no like raspberry flavoring anything flavored raspberry raspberry cookies raspberry uh, whatever so we eating I ass juice <laughs> beaver ass beaver juice beaver ass bro. juice yeah but I we're not there was eating a, there, I, there was a reason i like fucking but raspberry we're not juice <laughs> But Show what we're not enough. is P53. <laughs> hey, man, you got to play the scene. The scene when he was like, kiss my titty shoes. So you, got, oh my so you God. don't think that's a problem? What? You just want to talk about Show Enough instead of the fact that we're Hey, not man, Show Enough is hilarious. Watch this. Look, look, you got to see this. This is some funny fucking shit. <laughs> kiss my converse. The following program is rated TVMALS. It contains strong language and sexual situation. Oh my god. I cannot. Like, last night was insane. So what can I tell you? He almost broke the bed. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So he started using this cream called Sword Vitality and it's changed everything. You should definitely tell your man to get some. It actually works. Oh yeah. Sword Vitality, the ultimate male enhancer. This lady from the Bronx. Now we're gonna get into my criminal past on what I think happened on this again. But All right. Okay. You've been on fire lately though. This lady from the Bronx is convicted of blackmailing AMC CEO when she catfished him oh. by posing as a 17-year-old Russian ballerina. ballerina. Yeah, I've seen this. He's not being investigated for talking to a 17-year-old ballerina. She's going to probably get like 30 years for extortion. But is you know why he's not being investigated? Because it didn't exist. Yeah. The ideal of it is kind of earth-shattering, <laughs> kind of <laughs> fucked up. But... Ultimately, that person didn't exist. So how do you how do you face criminal charges for something that didn't exist? <laughs> it just didn't exist at all. It wasn't. It's not real. All right, let's go. So apparently, Doctor Josh when I was reading, is going to <laughs> explain what was, truly happened. You guys. Apparently, she's a scammer. <laughs> okay. I know she knows somebody who knows the black market and can get anybody's information. She just somehow figured out who the people were, scammed their info from the fucking okay. dark webs, and then she knew who... Because she had a list, like a, a list of the phone numbers of the board of AMC. Wow. It's like unlisted numbers and like, like the, you know, probably people with Black Rock and shit. Right. Or whatever that thing is. But point is, I'm pretty sure she's just like a real, like, 
she was out there looking for Did credit card her? scams and shit like that. Yeah. Is she caught her? Yeah. yeah. Prison? Yeah. Because she was claiming she was going to, oh, I'm going to tell the board and get you fired. Like, he did the, he slim shaded her ass. Eight mile, that bitch. He went in front of the board and told him. And then put her up for fucking blackmail and extortion. Good for him. Because you know what he realized? I'm going to have to deal with this bitch for the rest of my fucking life because she's going nowhere. Yeah, you pay them. They're going to ask for more. You got to pay them again. You got to pay them again. Listen to show enough. Yeah, show enough. <laughs> yeah. Listen, show enough. No, kiss my converse. Kiss his fucking converse. Exactly. <laughs> hey, I mean, I guess we need. Uh, they, there has to be a scheme where they actually get a real seventeen-year-old that he can start texting, so he can go to jail. <laughs> She's like, damn, <laughs> didn't take it far enough. That's the only way. Oh uh, man, I wonder what how you he think told about them. That, they though. should show that, huh? What do you think about that, though? I think anybody. How does? The question is, did he know that she was 17? Yeah, good question. That's the one. Now, did she claim, I'm 17? Like, if someone's like, you know I'm 17, I'd be like, yeah, okay. That's yeah, exactly. the setup. Yeah, no, because the, Cause young, person, to be the older. young person will say they're 19. They will always lie about their age. Yeah. I mean, we've all been hit with that. No, just no. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So enough. Okay, so I I have a question. Oh God, that, here we go. Because thought we were getting out of here. Okay, this is the last question of the show. If you didn't like your girls 119 pounds, you wouldn't get close to 18 as often as you do, probably. <laughs> <laughs> if, if if you go to the club, why do I always feel like a tag here? <laughs> if, why do I show up? <laughs> If you go to the club. <laughs> right. I'm at the club. You're at the club and a 17 year old girl. How the fuck did she get in? <laughs> fake ID tells huh? you she's 21. Okay. And then you take her home. You do your business. And then later you find out she's 17. Should you be criminally charged? Fuck no. For the murder of her after what happens when I find out she was underage. Because what's the difference? You're going to jail anyways. No, you're not going to jail. If someone lies about their age, how are you? No. She's at a club that's 21. Nah, if you're bro. at a club that, listen, if you're, you're at a 21 down. year old club and a 17 year old girl tells you that she's of age and you're like, yeah, of course you're of age. You're in here and you knock her down. You should not go to jail for that. Rocky Marciano, a boxer that happened to him. They sent his ass to jail. That's ridiculous. You said a boxer as if no one knows who fucking Rocky Marciano is. Just in case for our <laughs> younger viewers. Okay, that's fair. But listen, he went to jail. He didn't know. He met her at a club that then, night. 21-year-old club. Had sex with the person and then went to jail. That's fucking stupid. That's why, that's why I hate these fucking laws. If them. someone tricks you, they just tricked you. That's it. You got one over on me. That's it. <laughs> How about you, Josh? I love rape laws. <laughs> what are we talking about? Show enough does not respect the rape laws in America because they're fucking bullshit. If a girl lies Jesus to you Christ. and tells you she's 21, are you supposed to check her ID before you have sex with her? Yes. Get the fuck out of here. And Ain't then if the ID that. says 21, then, and the ID, now we got a problem in court. Wait a minute, how can't you even go shit. to jail? She had fake ID? No, I don't, I, I don't, you don't know anything about that, Kay? I, There's no way. Let's talk about some no, on that's the it. utmost serious part of anything right now. You yeah. never, you wait, wait. First, you never cleared, declared anything. Has anyone ever tricked you about their age? No. Ever? No. So when they tricked I've been you, married how since did you find I was 23 out? AD. You find out years later because you've been dating the bitch the whole time and you'd be like, I thought you was this age. And it comes out it's like her birthday. It's your be 19th birthday? We've been dating for five years. <laughs> Kiss my converse. <laughs> yeah. For real, though, some, this, is a, this is a touchy subject, though, so you might want to brace yourself. Oh, God. Elon <laughs> Musk offered Wikipedia $1 billion if they changed their name to Dickopedia. <laughs> What a childish dude. That's what he told <laughs> That's him. That's a real thing. Yeah, KTLA 5 News. Billionaire Elon Musk offers Wikipedia a billion dollars because Wikipedia runs off donations. Right. If you change your name to Dickopedia. <laughs> Listen. I'll take it. 
I'm taking that money. I would change it. Me I'm too. I'm taking that fucking money. I put How long on. do I have to be Dickopedia? <laughs> that's, that's the real question. Also, one of the coolest features I've ever seen on a championship ring. Look how you can pull out the banner. Oh, that's dope. Nugget's got a dope ring. Yeah, that's dope. Check that out. You can pull the banner out kind of from it and have like a smaller ring. You got like a pinky ring with your ring. Okay, cool. Who are your, who's going to win the championship this year in the NBA? The NBA, who's going to win it? I'm, I, I think the, probably the strongest team is Milwaukee. You, Josh? Clippers. Uh, Kawhi Leonard wins the championship every four years. I cannot go against my man LeBron. He's going to find a way. Lakers. Lakers. I hope it's so. not logical at but all. Look, I got a couple more things we got to talk about before we go. Okay. We should have put this, these things on the list. There's a fake lawyer who handled 24 cases and won all of them against this court who's now going to jail for practicing law without a degree. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this motherfucker's a winner. In Kenya. <laughs> oh, in it was Kenya. in Africa? Yeah, he tried 26 cases in Kenya. He won all 26. But why, now he's my, going to jail. But, but my whole thing, even about that, like, after you won the first couple, why didn't you just go to law school? Obviously, you're good at it. Maybe you don't have money to go to fucking law school, AD. He won 26 cases. This motherfucker got a fortune in his pocket. He probably was doing it for fun. Wasn't charging nobody. Yeah, Kenya is the minor leagues, too, of the law. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that true? He's a, He had more money. Another he just, jab, black he people. Just, <laughs> it's a tough show to be on. He was just sliding money. Slide, but most money wins. Show enough. <laughs> Show enough. For real. Hold on. There's one more goddamn thing. Get into society. Hey, man. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> you got it. You got it. If you ain't never seen oh. The Last Dragon, you Less. gotta go see it. You should do that. You should get the costume, though. But you gotta get... He's got Just braids. grow out your hair. <laughs> yeah. Long Look. Thing. My hair doesn't grow this long. There's a... There's a mystery theory that I just read about a couple of days ago that I never okay. heard about. You know Coolio's story, uh, or song, fucking Gangsta's Paradise? Right. So Dope okay. record. One of the strongest mysteries concerning Coolio is in the song Gangsta's Paradise. He refers to being able to see the age of 24 when he says, hope to see the age of 24, whatever the uh. song. Coolio was 32 at the time. Now, it says Tupac was 23 at the time that song was written. And in the same time, they appeared on Yo! MTV Raps and did a freestyle together and rumored to have a recorded song. However, the song may be totally lost to history as there was a dispute over payment and they never released the song because the producer wanted Tupac to pay to be on it. Now, did he take Tupac's verse and just put it on Gangsta's Paradise? What about this theory? I thought it was a weird theory. Wait a minute, that's what they're saying? He yeah, took because, the verse? because when he said, I'm tw uh, 23 now, will I live to be 24 the way things are going? I don't know. He was 32 oh. when he said that rap. Tupac was 23. Oh, that's deep. That's deep. I'll see where you went with that. Having a good show. No, he's having a This guy's on fire today. Yeah. <laughs> Everything Usually, is, the logic yeah. is backwards. Ass backwards. I didn't come up with exact. this. Hip-hop realm came up with this. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the lost lyrics of the Tupac Julio song that the world never got. You know? The world deserves that song. They need that shit. Julio Tupac song? I think the song is good by how it is already. <laughs> No, I don't think it was that song. It was like a different song they did. I think he just took the verse. Anyways, before we go, did anybody get any updates on whether or not um, Shook Knight still has the rest of Tupac's ashes? No idea. He gave, him, he said, he gave they, him all to Jada? Yeah, I thought he gave it to Jada. <laughs> yeah. Gave Lo the logically, the ashes goes to Jada. But then and the estate, yeah. too. Speaking of Shook, though, you know they got a new thing out with Shook? Uh-uh. <laughs> Despite being in prison, Suge Knight will be starting a podcast. How? The podcast titled Collect Calls with Suge Knight. I love that. That's I know, fucking right? dope. <laughs> That's, That's dope. crazy. And we'll be done with Source Magazine founder, uh, Breakbeat Media CEO Dave that Mays. That is fucking dope. Five episodes are already recorded. Well, minutes each. to quote the people in our comments... Podcast equipment is too goddamn cheap. 
<laughs> hey, yo, speaking of some people in our equipment or in our comments, like that thing went crazy. Everybody has a crazy opinion. Like, I think they just on, don't like you. Yeah. The, <laughs> no, on the top five. Not on. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, not, on uh, me. not the one calling you racist. <laughs> no, nah, they can call me racist all they want. They heard what they wanted to. I never said the, that. He's not racist. But I also never. There's a shower cap on the top of his <laughs> fucking head. Sky's the niggerish, the blackest <laughs> motherfucker on the planet. <laughs> Here's the other point, though, is that I was never claiming The Rock to be white. I just said he's Samoan. Yeah, but you only said Samoan. But the other not- half of him is definitely, like, clearly he's his dad. I knew who his dad was before anybody said, I'm a wrestling fan. I knew oh, his Oh, somebody dad. put in the comment, like, he knew how the dad looked like. He yeah. just wanted to argue. That, that's what I do here, in case you guys didn't know. I didn't know that. I thought you... Actually thought you were right. No, no, that that's why some people get upset with Josh because he just likes Show so enough. <laughs> Show <laughs> enough. Show no. Are we gonna do any comments, man? Cause fuck these people. Not not this episode, man. We've been hey, listen, it's been two me. hours. Let me just tell you something, man. I would never get dunked on with somebody hair this long. <laughs> that that it, that would be a horrible fucking experience. Like somebody like bouncing down the court with their hair like <laughs> Yeah, you would. fucking dunk on you, what I about, would be like, just kill me now. What about you get, <laughs> you, you catch a fucking pass down the middle, just get rocked, never to fucking barely ever get up again, because that's how Troy Palomalo used to look, and he would murder motherfuckers on the football field. Yeah. Hair bouncing up and down, just no. I'm This not going to happen to me. Someone Troy Palomalo is not tackling you? No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Somebody He's is, not. I mean, sports, uh, Are you humanity. fucking kidding me? You see this hair? <laughs> this hair is not tackling me. All right, this hair is this hair is not tackling me, not dunking on me, not punching me in the face. Troy Palomalu, please come to the show, and we're gonna set up a fucking a gap. I'm gonna shake him loose. <laughs> <laughs> there was this sports personality called Clay Travis, and he said. He will bet a million dollars that a boys' high school team would defeat the WNBA champion. Would you take that bet? Hell, fucking yeah, I'm going to take that fucking <laughs> bet. Which boys' team? He's in... Uh, like Sierra Canyon? No, he's saying... It can be any, 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 any high school. No, like, you not, know, like the, the not, top not 10. any team ain't going to beat them. <laughs> but I, the, the, top, not, the top 20 teams in male high school. Absolutely. I'll say the top 10 are wear their ass out, Period. It yeah. won't even be close. <laughs> Anyways, we've had a hell of a time here today. What is your... Not um, the most organized show that's ever happened. No? No, I thought it was great. Listen, show enough. Look, I'm trying to tell y'all. Uh, I think show enough. Uh, this <laughs> might be my hairstyle from here on out. Like, this, <laughs> this shit is fly. I know I could pull some women with this shit. Hey, man. Big I'll... I'll throw in $100 if you can get a girl like that. I can easily get a girl. Listen, we could test the theory. I can go to the mall and get a girl phone number in, in two, three <laughs> seconds. Two, three seconds? Yeah. I'll be like, hey, but she cannot up? know that you're rich. No, we don't need that. What's that? We can film that. Me and Josh <laughs> both go to the mall and get who gets the most phone numbers by the end of the day. Oh, man. Josh not get. Josh a long game type of dude. <laughs> <laughs> You got well, you know, from six months, and then you finally be like, oh, Yeah, she knows about my family by now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I gotta know. There's gotta be a few back and forth, you know what I mean? I can't just, I can't just lay it all out there right away. You're like, Yeah, I, I'm not good with the denial, you know. How are you about like, marriages? Oh. Like, if she <laughs> said, <laughs> This fucking guy, <laughs> hey, cut that one out. That was too funny. It's fine, you can leave it. <laughs> She don't watch. She doesn't support my life. She doesn't watch anymore? Nah, uh, she's had enough of our shenanigans. <laughs> oh, good for her. She's smart. Yeah. Good, good, good. That's <laughs> fine. Right, another show. Wait a minute, what was Happy your... Halloween. Yeah, definitely. Happy Halloween. And um, and I everyone think Shonuff knows... died. I think he died, but RIP to Shonuff. Everyone knows that I was just a black guy. That's my costume. Listen. Definitely. Josh was <laughs> an honorary black guy today. And wait, how did it feel to be black? You, depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you got treated like shit on the <laughs> show. They, they don't believe in me. 
<laughs> felt like I was going to be arrested at any moment. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>